And welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. It's Friday. Hello. And this is Tanya. James. And we're going to play some Atari stuff. Yes. Um, this is where we play new games on classic consoles. And specifically today, we'll be running through the last portion of the 2018 Atari Award nominees. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it over the past three episodes, and we're down to the last bits of it. And today we're going to play the best hacks. Mm -hmm. Um go through with the second half of the demos that are nominated mm -hmm. and also quickly take a look at some of the technical achievement uh, nominees as cool. well. We're cool. not going to really play those games because no. we've already played them, but we're going to kind of highlight the what specific areas that, that they're, they're nominated, nominated for, for. so cool. people can see what they're about. Yeah. Um, we did talk a little bit about them when we were playing them before, but we can take another sure. look at them now. Yeah. There's a lot of hack nominations. I think hack there's 16. Like <laughs> and do you know what the hacks are? What they're all about? Well, it's taking an existing game and changing some aspect or adding a level. Or, That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think most, most of the hack nominees are from the original run of Atari games. Okay. And I think there's just one is that it? is like a new... A hack home of a homebrew? Ha hack of a homebrew. Okay, that's unusual. <laughs> yeah, and that's Kubrick yep. Jump. Um, uh, it is unusual. And it was actually... Uh, Amoeba Jump isn't even put out yet, mm. which is kind of funny. And mm. it's already hacked. Mm. And But it's by permission of, mm. of the original programmer. Yeah. But it's just kind of weird that the hack came out before the game is ever released. But yeah. That's what happens sometimes. Yeah. Hello, everybody yes. out there. Oh, Spinley1970 likes my 6507 <laughs> shirt. Which is the uh, processor inside of the uh, Atari 2600, okay. which is a offshoot of the 6502, which was used in a plethora of machines, mm. including the Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. We were just discussing that before the show. Yeah. Uh, Spindley 1970 says he has a uh c64 mini which we have yes as well. we were just playing with that uh, a couple days ago week yeah because i like updated that. it and we're looking yep. through all the new games yep. on there including the galencia um yeah. homebrew that they included okay. in the new update for it which was awesome because i did buy the galencia for the c64 and cartridge it's a homebrew mm. and now they've included it for free yes. i don't know if there's any difference i, I haven't done any research might be a reduced down version of it because, uh, or maybe they're done selling their cartridges and they're like, oh, it's fine. Mm. We're not selling that many anymore. Yeah, that's very true. Um, and a lot of homebrews are about buying the box and getting the original artwork and stuff rather than just having a ROM. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank everybody that's here in the chat today live with us on Twitch. If you're not watching on Twitch, hello yes. on YouTube where yeah. it's posted later. <laughs> Um, so Spindly1970, Arena Foot, uh, I Sposta, Micron Bus, who's a new name? Yeah. I don't think I've heard that name before. No, uh, sure. Ground Trooper, uh, I think that's it who's come and chat so far. We've yeah. just started. We're but just starting, yeah. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers as well. Uh, Charles and Check, Gretem's Ground Trooper, I Sposta, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, RC70, Shazam1970, Tiki Dan K, Train Trainwreck eighty six, and you can subscribe for free and support us. If you have Amazon Prime, just link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Micron mm -hmm. is new too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yep. that is a new name. Yeah. Um. So, mail news and feedback. Uh, the voting, the voting is well underway now. I think it's been a week and a half around, and lots of votes are coming in as people make their way through trying all the programs because they can download the full pack of games mm. that are nominated for the awards cool. and try them all out for themselves cool. on their emulators or if they have um it's through stella uh yeah yep. emulator on stella on their yep. pcs or yeah or if they have a 2600 they can use it on the harmony cart or whatever kind mm -hmm. of cart you have as well cool um yeah, and we make our way through it on the show as well, so people can watch us play it, if that's helpful <laughs> for you guys out there. Yeah. Um, and the voting ends in just over two weeks. Yeah. So you do have about two and a half weeks left cool. to do your voting. It ends on February 18th uh, at midnight Pacific time. Mm -hmm. I don't know what day the 18th is. 
uh, Wednesday, I think. I don't know. It's around there. I think it is a Wednesday. But go check it out. Make sure you don't vote late because um, it will be cut off. And make sure you get your vote in for your favorite uh, games. And then the award show is on Saturday, February 23rd at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and 8 p.m. GMT. So everybody in North America and Europe should be able to watch it live. Cool. And that'll be lots of fun. You'll cool. be there yes, yes, presenting awards. The cats will be there. The cats, I don't know where they went. They were just <laughs> they here were. and they ran right out the rooms. So. Erlen will be there. Cool. And Darcy, Darcy. will be there. Yeah. So the whole crew yeah. will be here to be presenting the awards. Yes. It should be lots of fun. Yeah. And um, we have some unboxing to do. Ooh, I like opening uh, presents. Yes. <laughs> Even if they're self-bought. <laughs> well, this one is not self-bought, actually. This one was sent in oh, cool. by a viewer of the show. Now, let's see if I can open it up. Yeah, that's where you open it up. Um, so I do know what this is, but I'll wait to open it. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure it didn't get destroyed in shipping but it looked like the box was fairly good it's a little bit a little bit squishy on that end but i think it's, it's pretty good yeah you know they stack up the boxes on the oh trucks. yeah yeah but as know, long as there's good enough packing or whatever good enough packing inside should be good oh stickiness ugh, ugh. Ugh, more cutting now this is not for the atari 2600 um, because I did mention on the show a little while ago that I got the RGB ColecoVision. Oh yeah, okay. Um, so somebody out there asked if they, if I would like to play their homebrew ColecoVision game. Nice. Um, this was sent in by Rocket Monkey 101 on the Atari Age forums. Um, it is Risky Rick, Dangerous Traps. Um, so this is a homebrew for the ColecoVision cool. uh, platformer and it looked like a lot of fun and they were like oh would you like to try it out and yes I would so it'll be a good <laughs> inaugural test Excellent. of the ColecoVision live on the cool. um, on the stream so uh, a little warped I hope this is how it was when you shipped it um, a little bit of it looks crushing there, but it looked like it, it was packed pretty good. It's generally okay, though. It looks like yeah. the box didn't collapse or yeah, anything. So, so. so yeah. we'll be... Uh, oh, yeah. He had never opened this. That's what he said to me. He had never opened oh, this before. Oh, cool. So I will be actually unboxing it. Yay. Um, probably next uh, Wednesday's show with Erlen um, at 11 a.m. So something to look forward to for next Wednesday. I'll have to get my ColecoVision out and I also have the USB power for that so I will be trying that out as well rather than the original power supply okay. which is that big. That big brick. Yeah. And uh, the USB power supply is that big. Oh so that's crazy. Very very yeah. very tiny. Yeah. It'll be uh, it'll be lots of fun. Arena Foot knows Rocket Monkey's name. Oh maybe he's just shouting Rocket Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name isn't it? Um, so that was released in 2018, and it's completely sold out, so if you want it, there we go. you can't have it. Um, yeah. That's what I find with a lot of ColecoVision homebrews. Yeah. They, they, make, they must make like a set amount, and then when it's done, it's done. They don't do reprints, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if they do like really low runs just to make it worthwhile and set a price, and then it's done. Oh, Spinley uh, 1970 is a tuxedo oh, as well. Oh, yes. Slut boots. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this this guy, he's sweet. Well, he's sweet, but he's quite yeah. angry right now. <laughs> his name is Pixel. Yeah. Because he's got a little dead pixel on his tummy. Yeah. And it's... you can see it right there. Whoop. Black pixel. Right in the belly. Yeah. yeah. You know. Right in the middle of the white. So we're going to play <laughs> some game hacks today. Yes. And they are... Hacks of existing games. So somebody has changed the graphics, the sounds, the gameplay, the um, layout, the play field, something about it that mm -hmm. they've changed to make it you know, different, uh, something that they like. Maybe they add in characters from other games mm -hmm. and kind of change it. Mm -hmm. Or they've altered it so that it's closer to maybe the arcade. Mm. Because some of the lot, a lot of the games back in the day, what they did is that they wanted to make them really colorful, 
So a lot of games didn't allow for black backgrounds. They're like, nope, make it colorful. Okay. We want blues and reds and greens all over the place. That's very So yeah. there's like <laughs> yeah. space shooters with green backgrounds mm. rather than the black of space. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of weird. So there's been hacks like that to kind of make them a bit better. Yeah. Or make the control better. Or like we played um, like a month ago, all the rollerball hacks. Or yes. trackball hacks. Trackball hacks. Um, where they've adapted it to a different controller. To a different controller. More yeah. th like the original controller in the arcade. So it's... Mm. A lot of these are getting them closer to the arcade or make them, you know, fun. Mm. So we're going to go through all of these very quickly, though. <laughs> uh, there are 16 of them. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> so not spending a lot of time Not them a in. lot of time oh, on nice. them, but uh, we're... Most people would probably be familiar with a lot of these games already because they are based on a lot of the original games. Mm. So let's switch over to the 2600 on our screens. <laughs> For you, nothing will change. Yeah. For us, <laughs> things will changes. change. Uh, so I will switch it over for everyone else as well. There we go. So the first one is, oh, I've turned it off. So if you there could go you. down to there. Oh, went right away. Oh, there you go. And go to best hack. And the first one is active shooter. Oh, Which yes. is a turmoil hack by James Catalano, a.k.a. Jam Cat Reloaded. Wow. So if these are alterations, oh, that's kind of cool. He changed the spaceship into a guy with a gun. And... <laughs> the guys into uh, the other spaceships into guys. Wow. Um, so you might be able to press the button. Yep. Wow. Oh, that looks good. Super colorful. Oh, and there's skateboards. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to figure out <laughs> what is what. Because some things you can't shoot straight on. Some things you can only shoot from behind. I think you can hold the button down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So you'll find out what you can't shoot from up front. So far, everything. And then there's some things you have to go in and get. So get in that, get that. Or maybe that's nope. not it. We don't know what they are yet. <laughs> the fast things shoot from behind. Okay. So a really good um, alteration of the game right, to make it. Oh, oh you ran right into that. Oh no, one more. Oh, one more. Okay, Did you get that? Uh, Maybe, no, no. There you that go. Kills me. That kills me. Okay. Level two. Uh, yeah, it's a school shooter. <laughs> Active shooter. Oh. Okay. Oh, because oh, there's kids on skateboards. Oh my. Naughty. Yeah. What do you? I know, I didn't do that on purpose. Oh, there you go. So far we haven't seen anything you have to shoot from behind. I think those, uh, those balls. No, I've seen you shoot them from, uh, from, from, from the front. You're going right into them. No, but I'm just, I, I didn't need to go past it. There you go. Go and get it before it moves. Oh. No, no, you don't. Oh, before it moves. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Would, so if it moves, then you must then you die. just barely not got it last time. No, I did. It, it ran into me. Oh. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Turmoil, the original game, is really... Uh, oh. It must have just moved. I don't know. Or uh, it kills you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll try to get it. There, oh, there you go. And that, you have to just avoid because you shoot right through. Really? Yeah. So you can get it. You just have to be really fast. You have to get it immediately. That was terrible. Smack right into it. That was terrible. <laughs> That's the thing you have to shoot from behind. I think that I could last year. It's very hard to line up to the exact line because it moves quite quickly. It does. I think it like, takes a little bit of time. You don't have a lot of time to go yeah. get it. That's cool. There we go. And then it puts out one of those things. But I what guess. is. Can you pick that up? Or? No, I don't think so. In the original game, you can't. can't remember what it is. Get out of the way. Yeah, you can't shoot it, you can't get it. I think everything's deadly except for that thing that sits there. That you have to get. 
can just, you can shoot really fast, like a whole, yeah. just row. Active shooters based on re recent events at the time mm -hmm. in the news. School shootings 2008. Well, there's school shootings every year. Mm -hmm. So, so that is an interesting adaption yeah. to a game. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're going to go to the next hack, uh, which is ALF, a Taz hack. Hold it down. You can just move over to the right. Oh, I always forget that. Yeah. Go to hack. What was your first 2600 game that you noticed? Wow, that moves way faster than I thought the system <laughs> can handle. Mine was Spider Fighter. Yeah, Spider Fighter is fast. Go to Elf. Yeah, there's a lot of action going on in Spider Fighter. That oh, is... it's actually Elf. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and there's cats. Oh! And you have to eat cats. Really? If I know my Elf lore. Oh, so, you so just... there's going to be things you shouldn't oh. eat, oh, which no. are those guys, I really? guess. Really? Those are the FBI them. guys. No, you are didn't. they? You avoided every single one of them. No, I didn't. Okay. I ran into one of them. Oh, okay. No, I'm no. just testing it out. I... <laughs> Alf looks like he has a big nose. <laughs> oh, no. So in the original Taz, there's like food that you have to eat. And I think you eat the unhealthy food and avoid the healthy food. Can't remember the graphics in that. Marina Foot says he loves this elf hack. It's very cute. It's very cute. I mean, it works really well. Oh. This is done by Scott Dayton, aka Neo Tokyo 2001 of Neo Games, and James Catalano, aka Jam Cat Reload, who made the last game as well. Did you ever watch Elf? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> the sarcastic alien. Yes, well yes. created um, I would have been the right American age for dad. that show. <laughs> Where they have to hide the alien yes. in their house, and I guess FBI guys are after him, and he eats cats. It's just the weirdest <laughs> show. It is well, very strange. He, I don't know if he, he ever actively no. eats a cat. I think he threatens think, to eat their cat all the time. I, that, I think, would be too much for the audience if he was chowing down on cat, yeah, picking so. fur out of his for, teeth. For one of those family sitcoms from the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. No, I, don't, too dark. I can't see that. Uh, <laughs> Alf has a big nose. Flying. He has a snout. And, yeah. like, yeah, he's, yeah. Still, he's like Gonzo. Like a long-nosed He's dog. kind of a Gonzo-ish kind of style of character. Uh, Gonzo is a long, skinny beak. No, but, he, but it's More still like a beak. A dog it's, it's just fatter. Snap. But it's very similar. Yeah. It's very yeah, similar. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I always thought they were related somehow. Alf and Gonzo. <laughs> really? Yeah, they just always seem somewhat similar to me. Uh, and this, the game czar has uh, oh. joined us. Yo, feats. I guess he knows Arena Foot. <laughs> um, so you haven't died yet. You're still in the first game? Um, yeah. Oh, there's red cats. There are more points. Yay. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Yeah, really nice little detailed graphics on it. It's like single line graphics. Oh, no, sorry. I did restart. You I did? did? restart once. Oh, yeah, sorry. Because okay. I just I'll was figuring out how it was working. my game then. Oh. Well, we do have <laughs> 16 to go for, so... Or you can hand it off after you die next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Fine. Yeah. Cats. <laughs> Meow. Get those red cats. So this is the second level? This is, yeah. This is why there's red well, cats I on here? Well, I think it upgraded, so now the red cats are worth 100 points, not 50. So. And they're moving, I guess, a little uh, faster? A little faster. They're not super fast. So what was the original game again called that this is uh, uh, Taz. a hack of so Taz? The Tasmanian Devil, you know, Taz uh, from Warner Brothers. Is that, was it the Tasmanian De Devil from Warner Brothers, oh, yeah. the original yeah, one? Yeah, it oh. was licensed. What, is he, what did he pick up? Looney Tunes. What did he eat? It was, I think, oh, blue cats. Oh, oh you've upgraded? Oh, they're moving um, faster now. Oh, stinky cats. <laughs> stinky cats in our house. Oh. Um, 
he it was food and i seem to remember like there's a whirlwind for some like you can get a whirlwind you can go mm. really fast. oh you are a whirlwind oh i see and you're picking stuff up oh i don't know if you want to take care of that stink i anymore. will <laughs> It is terrible. I was gonna jump out right away. Ah. <laughs> it's getting bad. Yeah, that's what happens. You have to deal with actual cats in the house, not just cats in video games. And uh, when their litter box is uh, just around the corner, it does not make for fun times when they need to go to the bathroom. No, it's not your fault. You're just stinky. Um, how much are these? 200 points. Kind of cool that they turn into points right on the screen. That's always nice when um, games show you exactly how much points you're getting. So it is a really um, well done hack. Oh, now they're green. Ah, uh, Because you want to make the hack make sense within the world that you're putting them into. Um... I guess it, it makes sense, like the obviously eating the cats and everything's well themed. Taken care of? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Poor kitty. I'm onto green cats. Oh, now. wow, you've upped. Yep. Hasn't gotten super hard uh, yeah, yet. I, was I remember say the original not... game being much harder. Maybe it was a bit faster. Is there, are there uh, difficulty settings, maybe? Um, well, I always have them on the default. Yeah, um, it B could be, this could be a low setting. They, they could have changed the settings as yeah. well. Oh, and I have a new life. <laughs> Extra life. <laughs> Easy peasy so far. Psst, psst. Get that cat, okay. please. No, okay. he's he walks on the cables. He's going to wreck the cabling. He's going to turn off the system and distract me. Can you get him? No, it's, no, it's, it's not. It's making me Atari. It's making me. Oh, no, it's over. Okay. Okay. Good kitty trying to save his pals. Yeah, he's yeah. trying to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, cats are being eaten in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's okay, there. Okay, we're going to move on to a. We're going to do one more game and then we'll go on to a demo. So if you okay. hold down the button, we go on to Batman. Uh, this one is a Popeye hack by the same person, James Catalano, a.k.a. Jam Cat Reloaded. Oh, oh, give me a second. It should readjust itself. There you go. You, oh, and it's got Catwoman at the top. And your Batman. And that's the penguin? What am I supposed to be doing? You're catching, oh, the bats, as uh, Catwoman throws them down. Okay, punch. Oh my god, cat. Nope, we're gonna have to watch it. That is super bizarre. I will show you how to play in a second after the yeah. cat goes away. Very distracting. Oh, you got me. Okay. So, your goal is to catch the batarangs as they fall down. Okay, you just ate your spinach, so go punch the penguin. <laughs> or whatever the whatever Batman eats to, to gain his strength. Oh, I don't know I what getcha. Batman would eat. So you know, it's Popeye originally. I understand. Punch it, punch it. There you go. And there's a sea hag, not pictured, <laughs> that throws bottles from the side. Or... Maybe whatever it is in this game. Level. Maybe it's the Joker. Punch it. And I got it. So is that bottles? The, in the original game, they're bottles. They're blocks. I don't know what they've explained them to be. In this one, same czar says... Oh, I think... Yeah, Batarangs. The game czar says he looks like Napoleon. Oh, the the bad guy. Eh, he could, with the big hat. Yeah. Now he does jump up, so you have yeah. to Yeah, no, watch I know. Out. He got me at least once. And you can go up and down the stairs and down the ladder. Down, there you go. And if the batarangs go into the water, you have a certain amount of time to get them before um, you die and time runs out. Mm. 
says Batman at the top. But it looks like Mary was wearing an Aztec headdress. Oh. I tried to go down, but it didn't You're at really, the wrong level to punch. It didn't really want to go down. Do you want to play? Yep. Oh. Nope. And dead. 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 Dead and dead. The Catwoman um, graphic is pretty good. And the Not Batman's, bad. Batman one is pretty somehow good. Somehow given her boobs, which is, is <laughs> difficult is, with is funny. eight um, pixels wide. <laughs> so that's, yeah, okay, that's spinach down there. I yeah, that. I mean, I, I don't know what they're saying it is in this game. <laughs> or Just why a, Batman a gets up. a power up. A power ah. up. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> And on the top left, you can see it counting mm. how many batarangs that I've got so far. So you have to get a certain number? Yeah, you have to fill up that house. Gotcha. So oh. maybe 16, might be four rows of four. I played this game um, a lot on the C64. The Popeye version. Oh. oh. Yeah, the Popeye version. Yeah, yeah not this version. <laughs> Which came out last year. On the C64? This version no, came out last year. This, this version came out last well, year. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be in the nominees, would it, if it came out any other year? <laughs> no, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> can you hit him or no? Uh, only if you have the spinach. Okay, oh, so you spin. can't actually confront him in any way. So before. if I do this, and they didn't change the music to man themed music that would have been a bit more on yeah that's theme. a little that's a little surprising so actually. they took it yeah, they took right. it a bit far they took it far <laughs> but not completely all the way yeah they could have done the old um mm. missed it the old 60s batman tune mm. that would have been uh they could have done that it's not. It's not really good to be on the same level as him because he'll just throw. No, you just you throw just, things at him. You just really want to hang out on a different level as him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cats are running up the stairs. So I've almost got. <sighs> oh, it's gonna be five rows. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, because there's one already there. Oh, oh, what was it doing? Oh, he gotcha. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, pretty good. So we're going to switch over to... That's a, cool. Yeah. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. It's got some of the some of the themes of Batman mm -hmm. going on. So we're going to play one of the demos now. Um, now we did... We went through half of the demos last time, so we made it path to hard 2632. So we're going to play Lapin Culta by Dentifrice who is, has two games for best demo. Mm. So let me load up. Nominees on here, because a lot of, mm -hmm. we tried the demos on the actual system, but a lot of demos are in PAL, and they weren't cooperating mm. with the actual system. Um, so we're gonna play them through Stella. So let me get the screen capture going here. Okay. One second. Hopefully it kicks in. Is it going to be on the big screen? Oh, no. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Very soft, so everybody can hear. either so yeah let's fix that I there suppose. we go that works now everything's <laughs> running so i believe this is very very similar to alpha volume down for everyone there so you can hear us yeah the other one had different colors and then there's a spaceship that comes in at some point here so really good music and the lights are going backwards for me for some reason they look backwards like he's running 
It does, it does a little bit, actually. <laughs> I think maybe he's made a, a weird alteration to the legs of the cool animation though. is backwards. It's, cool. it's like a pitfall gun. Mm. Coso, in vitro for SV2K18 release at Simula Simula Ratio? Simula Ratio So most of these are done in Europe. Um, demos. For some reason, there's a huge, huge um, demo, demo scene community yeah. in, in Europe, and not as big in North America. They have huge demo conven conventions where they show these off, and they play them on a huge screen, and everybody watches. That'd be pretty. Yeah. Um, but they have demos from like all the different platforms, like C64, and Amiga, and PC, and I think it's probably Lincoln by now. We've seen this one, this, uh, this one before. I think this is like kind of a reduced down version of the other one. That's his magic legs. Yeah. Forrest Gump. <laughs> run, Harry, run! That's right. Good one. Um, and a lot of these demos, they try and make the most impressive demo in the smallest package. Yeah. So there's different levels of entries, like a Depending 2K, on the size. 4K, yeah, okay, that makes sense. 32K. Yeah. yeah. No PAL games or demos I know of run on NTSC. I bought a PAL 2600 Junior, but I need to accomplish it for my LCD to show it. I see. I just post this as. We'll let it run a little bit, a little bit more. It looks like it looped, but the, the text definitely looped. Yeah. Some of the, some of these demos are unbelievable. 2600 <clears throat> and they can do a lot more than what people can do in games yeah oh, this is new new music so it's still going um mostly because there's no there's no user input so it doesn't have to take input and make decisions based on that input yeah so there's no if then statements yeah. everything's exactly the same it just every runs. time yeah. yeah that makes sense yeah. yeah so you can do a lot more with demos if you don't have to and you don't have to read input too because that takes up time and also do random like you have to be prepared in a game to, to draw various things at various times these you know exactly what you're going to draw yeah. and what music you're going to play wonder how much memory the music took i think it is looped now so let me exit out of here actually let me take a look it says this is an 8K game, um, so I would say most of it is music. <laughs> yeah. Because there's not much for the graphics. I mean, there's the font because yeah. you have to program the yeah. fonts. Yeah, and it's moving too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So maybe yeah. one or two K, probably two K, two or maybe three K for all the for the graphics and the text. I don't know. The rest of the music. There's a lot of music. Okay. So back to the hacks now. What is next on the hacks agenda? It is Berserk Neo Version 2. Berserk hack by Scott Dayton, aka Neo Tokyo 2001 of Neo Games. Excellent. He loves making hacks. Switch back to uh... Berserk Neo. Yep, that's the one. Berserk. Um, you want to try this one? Oh, sure. I know you know this game well, so. Shoot everything. Oh, he's made alterations to the, uh, the maze. Background? Back, yeah. The backgrounds, because it, usually it's a um, uh, straight up straight walls. Mm. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, my God. Yeah, and you have to avoid that, dude. If you take too long. The happy face? You know, <laughs> so it's kind of neat. The, different, different. the players are different, right? Like the, the individuals in it. Um, they look a lot bigger yeah, for some do. reason. Like everything's a bit chunkier, but maybe because I'm playing on a huge TV. Yeah. And ah! I'm done. I'm out of there. Nope. Oop. Kill. Kill. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Looks like it's easy, but... It does look like it. They are suicidal robots. <laughs> they do run into walls. They're dumb, but they're powerful. 
No walls to do the work for you. Ah! Ah! That, that is true, because a lot of them, when you play the original game, there's tons of walls, mm. and half of them kill themselves, like, within, just, just within a couple seconds. seconds. Yeah. yeah. So this one has Do you die if you hit the wall, too? Yeah. Yeah. Everything dies. You die if you hit anything. Ah! Dang. Ah! So, did, are they usually different colors? <sighs> I haven't played Berserk in a long time, yeah. so they do that. <laughs> I can't remember. Ah! It is very random, so you could be placed right beside a robot. Yeah. You, uh, you can't kill that guy. What is his name? He has a yeah, name? They can, yeah, they Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you die? Oh, you can't be dead. I don't yeah. know if they can do that. Evil Otto, I that's see them. the name. Yeah, Evil Otto. Evil Otto. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. gotcha. Tell how many lives I don't, I don't, yeah. There's no lives left. So there I'm was? Just, uh, or, yeah, it's gone now. Oh, uh, I gotcha. Oh. There we go. That's the end. So you play for a bit. Okay. Fewer walls. Too bad that big one doesn't fire up after you play the small ones. Ooh, that would be super cool. You have to defeat a huge robot in there? That was amazing. Wasn't Otto missing in the original car room? Oh, he's going so fast! <laughs> oh, when you cleared them out. Oh, there's your life. I, I, I think Otto was there in the original one. I think he was missing. That'd be too easy. Oh. He, this guy doesn't walk fast enough. Uh, he's a little <laughs> He's, he's a little incredibly sluggish. slow. Oh my goodness. Pretty sluggish. Auto was a game number select. Oh, so he wasn't on the default. That's probably why nobody nobody saw him. Because a lot of people just plug in um, 2600 games and just play them. And most of them have... A lot of the early ones had like 30, 60 variations by turning the on and off things. Making them faster, slower, not there, there. Excellent. So... Mm -hmm. Next one is Broadside, a combat hack, which is really combat's a two-player game. So we'll be able to play against each other. Mm. Ready? Press button. And this game, uh, this hack, was done by Claudio Salvucci, a.k.a. CDS Games. Okay. Oh, it's a ship game, Broadside. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Oh, and you're constantly moving. Oh, instead of the airplanes. So I am red. What I'm doing? I don't seem to be in control. Left and right. Left and right? Yeah, steering your ship. Oh, you're steering. Ah. Uh... <laughs> so it, they were airplanes. Oh, gotcha. And you can only shoot from one side of your ship. Because you only have cannons on one side of your ship, apparently. Which is a very poor design. Oh, I see. You have to hit me. Because then you have to steer your ship around in a circle to, to hit your enemies. Oh, but, God. but very cool because they didn't have they didn't have uh, ships in the original. They had uh, tanks. And they had airplanes of various, all of the various sizes and maps and mazes, um, but not ships, which would obviously is very easy to make the airplanes into ships. Just another graphic thing, and maybe they ran out of uh, space. So it was, it was the pack-in cart for the 2600. Mm. So it was like one of the first games ever made for the 2600. from one side of your ship. Yeah, but... As you can see. Yeah, but... And you have to turn to aim towards me. It's just very... feels very random as far as <laughs> where that bullet goes from the <laughs> angle of your ship, if that makes oh, sense. Oh. It just yep. like... It just... You're just shooting. Really. It, it, that's what it feels like. <laughs> it, 
it, like there's you can't the ship, tell where the cannon is if you know what I mean. Well, it's, the ship graphic is very limited in the way it's portraying yeah. which direction. Like I'm pointing straight up right now. Yeah. So I shoot straight up to the side. Just I like don't shoot are. straight up to the side. It goes kind of down to the right. No, it doesn't. It appears to go down. Oh, to the because right it's moving. Because you're moving. But if you oh ran out of time. Since there's variations. So oh. it just turns to the right. Two ships. Three ships. Three against one. Oh, what's what that? that? Probably just the stormy sea stormy seas. Yep. Ah. Uh, kind of originally like clouds, I guess. Oh, I see. So you can kinda of hide in the I uh, probably fog. That makes more sense. This definitely does make it hard. See, that whole thing of shooting from the side doesn't make sense because I was traveling up and shooting up. <laughs> so there's something I don't quite understand. I get the sense that uh, you might have um, an advantage having played the original version. Oh, this one, your cannon is on the front of I your know, ship. I know, isn't that? That's uh, bizarre. That's a difference. Okay. That's that's, that's interesting. That, well, I it's suppose a, it's it, a makes game variation. it makes yes. more sense. It makes more sense to me, at least. Mm. Playability-wise, it makes more sense. Um, the way ships were, it wouldn't make sense. I don't think, know if they had cannons on the front of their ships ever. I'm sure they did. Why not? Have have cannons everywhere. Have cannons behind. Well, usually the cannons on the side. Usually, yeah. I think that's why they made the default variation on uh, variation one. <laughs> it's going in circles, waiting for somebody to break. Oh. Oh, got you what? from the wraparound. What? How did you get me? Wraparound. I was certain you were going to get me, though. I thought I was. I, I, don't, I don't really understand this, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels kind of random to me. <laughs> I'm just, like, going round and round in circles. And, and pressing the button. And pressing the button. And some, sometimes it hits. <laughs> You're so funny. I don't really understand. <laughs> it's weird with the with the um, with the, uh, with the sailing fall. left and right, like like the d the direction is is definitely unusual. Oh, so. okay. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the other variations, but I think we're done. More ships. Oh, more sails. Oh, with that, might be there's more shots. Oh, just more ships, mm. different colors. Big fat ships. Um, slow ships. Oh, bouncing. <laughs> bouncing shots. Oh, these are actually barriers now. These are islands. <gasps> okay. That's different. <laughs> these are like sailboats now. Mm -hmm. I don't remember a variation kind of like this in the original game. That's neat. They've added a lot more into it. Too. Where Schooner, some uh, RC says. <laughs> um, because in the original one, there's tanks. Yeah, I guess you bounce off. You bounce off barriers in, in the original one. But But the tanks were not constantly moving. So there was some programming put into this to actually change the gameplay. So that's really, really good. That's really cool. So it is. There's of, tons of there tons of levels. Press the button. Yeah. Yeah, lots of variations. So <clears throat> that's a good kind of sequel almost to combat. So on to the next hack. Dawn of the Dead. Which is Dawn of the Dead, a world a Worm War One hack by Scott Dayton, aka Neo Tokyo, 2001 Neo Games. Now. I have not played a lot of World War One. Worm War One. This is a very noisy game. Can I turn that down? Ooh, I like the colors though. Okay, so... Got a so... rainbow scheme going. I'm 
me to do it? Yeah, yeah, sure. So it looks like kill everything and avoid everything. Oh, is it two player? Is it? Yep. Okay, we're both playing. Scott loves horror hacks. Ground Trooper says, yeah, a lot. A lot of his games are, um, whoa, what is happening? The screen is like resetting. No, it's... It was resetting. Like, just cleared out. Once you kill them all, I think it resets. It resets every time you kill all the zombies. Hmm. So don't run into the crosses? crosses and kill all the things on the screen. It's a bit, uh, crazy. <laughs> a bit crazy. Did you run into somewhere? I don't know. What is that G? If I just shot the G. The first level shouldn't have playfield obstacles. Really? That's what, uh... Oh. Oh, I know. This is insane! <laughs> insane! <laughs> we can't quite figure out what's going on, but it's fun. It's extremely... Oh, finish something. It's extremely colorful. <laughs> yes. Did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you keep... you. I don't know. I don't get it. You kill everything and it goes nuts. But but like resets. you can't you can't hit this the no, crosses. I did die when I hit once. It flashes yellow, right? When when you die well, you and then it resets. You can destroy those little barriers. Bizarre. I'm not entirely sure, but I love I love the look of it. It resets when you clear the screen of enemies. Jarring though. Oh. It resets, but then puts the thing puts back, the obstacles back. back again. It's a very weird way of making a game. I guess it gives you the opportunity to pacify some things. Yeah. You can't speed up or slow down. So it's I like can't. It's... I can't get that G. Oh, look at look at just getting more and more points by just killing that thing over and over again. Are you? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, you got me. Ah! Maybe G clears the screen? Appears to. Or maybe you're not supposed to hit it. I don't know. <laughs> ah! The same game czar says this looks a little buggy. Yeah, it does. it's wacky. It's wacky. I don't know where we have lives, but we haven't died yet. Our scores are still going up. Sometimes the crosses don't kill you. Uh, yeah, it's super Like, weird. that's not killing you? I just went past a cross and it's like, no, nah, you're good. You're good. Now there's a lot of barriers on the screen. Oh, I just died. 18? Oh, you have health. You do? Yes. So I have 10 health, you have 19, I have 9 now. So that's why... Oh, now we're going down. Okay, that's... Yelling! It is not playing correctly! <laughs> <laughs> it's not playing correctly. Oh. Oh, you have to run over the gas. Oh. Oh, it's... Yelling, it is not playing correctly. No, oh. clearly it is not. Hold it down. Should we play it again? Try to reboot then? it? Yeah. That was kind of fun the way it was, but... It was... Uh... Okay. Now, now it's playing one player. You're playing. No. I'm not playing. No. There you go. Oh, so you're not supposed to hit the gas. You're supposed ah, to collect the gas. Because the collect gas blows everything up. Get a six switcher. I think you have... <laughs> what are you talking about, I suppose? You can plainly see I have a six switcher. And they're on B. It just loaded up crazy because obviously the game does not clear out all the oh, you can speed up yeah it was it was being insane before for sure because it it started on two player right it wasn't on one player it was it was crazy you can't go backwards though. no avid on color b and b <laughs> the defaults 
just—it just loaded yes. with some crazy values. Way too many obstacles. <laughs> but now it looks like it's playing card. Oh, you can go through the crosses though. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it looks like I can go through. Oh no, crosses. you can't. No, no, I think I, I think he hit me, and I'm going too fast. <laughs> I always thought AA was a default. No, it's BB. BB. As far as I know, BB is the default. B is for... Well, A depends on what you're going for. I think A is advanced and B is basic. Ugh. I keep killing gas. So, if you're advanced, A is the default. Some games don't use the switches. It's still a crazy game. It is. Even though it's working. Now. It is super crazy. It is not easy. You lose fuel when you get hit. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like your health. Oh, you're at zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, we'll go to the next game. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. I would play more of that now that I know how it works and it is working the way it should. It's a pretty fun game. So, next hack mm. is Extinction. Mm. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Oh, this is, uh, was it Phoenix? Phoenix? Demon attack. Similar. Uh, extinction, a demon attack hat by Scott Dayton again. So shoot the things, don't get shot. <laughs> so there's, he's changed the graphics here. The original game was very, very colorful. Uh, done by a magic who really, really loved making games where every line was a very different color, not a smooth gradient. Oh, it's beautiful. So they've made very, I don't know how you describe it, but like really, not psychedelic, but very bold choices in their well, colors. Well, it, 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 it gives it a really artistic look. Vibrant. Vibrant that is a good artistic. one. Thank they you. look like little, Thank you, games are. They look like little sunsets flying in the sky. I mean, they've. Uh, what he's done here is changed the ship. The shapes of the ships. The shape of the ship oh. and the enemies. Not. I mean, they're still as bizarre looking as the original enemies. Yeah, they're just different. They're different. The the bullets are exactly the same. Um, the little extra lives in the bottom are different. I think the score is a different font as well. Um, because this. The score font looks different, but it's been a while since I've played Demon <laughs> Attack, so this hack looks... Oh, does it have two-player? Does the original one have two-player? There's no reason it couldn't have two-player. Let's try a two-player. challenging. Nope, those are levels. No, no two-player. I think that would be quite an advanced hack mm. to do two-player. I'm going to run top up my drink. Okay. See how well I can do. Not terrible at this game. But I played Phoenix a lot more than Demon Attack. Um, both were similar. Your ship at the bottom shooting up. Um, but Phoenix, they... When you shoot the things, they split into smaller things. Went right into it. Terrible. Um, and I believe Phoenix is the one that has kind of different levels. And the boss, or is Demon Attack has the boss? Where it's the spaceship. Pretty sure it's... Pretty sure it's Phoenix that has that spaceship UFO boss. The Intellivision version has a... Yeah, Phoenix. Thank you, Spinley 1970. So that's kind of probably why I gravitated more towards Phoenix, because it had more variation in it. Uh, this one just had... Oh, and the Phoenix one, the guys dove down to the, the bad guys. He's kind of just yeah, sat here. Did their thing. A little bit more repetitive. I mean, it's really nice looking. 
not a lot of stuff altered in here, but is there much to alter? Just the looks of you and the enemies. That's about it. I think, and I did the font up top. But pretty good looking enemies. And pretty good looking ship. Oh, this one does split up. Maybe they dive after a little bit. Oh, they are diving. Yes. Okay, this is the one where they do split up. I thought it just happened earlier. Very annoying when they dive down. Very, very annoying. And only the lowest dude starts diving down at you. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh he can just run away. And I have an extra life. I may have to give up on this. Unless it gets much harder soon. <laughs> ah. Uh oh. Yeah, keep. Oh. Keep them in pairs. Then they don't dive down at you. Nice arcade score hack. Oh, was. I'm dying. Um, did he change the scoring for the. Or does it look like the arcade score? Those guys look pretty similar to the original. Big mouth, fish like creatures. Like, oh, how far in? Uh, Further than know. I got. Lots, <laughs> lots in. <laughs> yeah, good. Because they split apart now. Oh. And they dive down at you. Yeah, these guys, wow. I, I'm very impressed with the uh, design of the the ships or monsters or whatever they're supposed Enemies. to be. Enemies, yeah. No, they're really Extinction, creative. so they would be animals or... Is it done after the... Aliens, I would think. Hi, What's the name of that movie? Was it Extinction? Was there a movie, Extinction? Based on that book? What was it called? Adaption? No. Extinction? Adapt oh. Oh, uh, no, I don't think it's related to that. What was it called? Um... Was the first one? Annihilation. Annihilation, not yeah. extinction. Okay. No, no, different, different thing. <laughs> because because the enemies or the bad guys or whatever, like, they were colorful in the movie, like super colorful. Well, some, some of them, them were, were, yeah, 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 because they were oh, maybe massively it's mutated animals and things. And plants. Yeah, plants. Mostly the plants are really. Colorful. They're really cute. <laughs> Little like, fishy mouths. No, they're just really, really um, quite beautiful looking. I think. Kept that colors from the original because the yeah, original is the original like that colorful. too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to play the original. Though. It's the same. <laughs> it's just different. Yeah. Different colors. Everything. I suppose says same. this was the first game to hire artists to color the sprites. Oh. Oh, this Ooh. one's very different Ooh. looking. It's well, very that cool. Sh that shows. It does show. Yeah. Atari's the animation here. is fluid. Okay. Welcome, Atari, Atari, to the show this today. This is cat number two, the yeah. non-tux cat. So we're going to go to the next that. demo, I think. Oh, are you playing again? No. No, okay. Well, we're going to have to mute it. Sorry. Oh, the next demo, sorry. Yeah, next demo, not Yeah, me. I thought we were playing another game. So the next one is M by Flush. Um, let me switch over to Stella here. Nice colorful transitions. Nice smooth vertical scrolling, which is very easy to do on the Atari, but you don't see this too much. So I think this is why this it made this one unique. Like full screen vertical scrolling. Metro. Remember when we were in um is it where there's um <laughs> where it's the the metro 
Uh, that guy, that, that rabbit. You've never seen that before? No, I think I don't that's think in France. Is that in France? France? Where it's like warning you not to put your hand in the oh, door. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Really great full screen animation. Really good. Nobody knows what city <laughs> that it has that rabbit warning not to stick your fingers in the door. Oh, shows all the people. Star says the musical sounds of crack. Yes. Kick. <laughs> oh, that's a kick this time. Yeah. Kick. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they mention the city in the text? Oh, I missed what city they're talking about. Oh, rabbit symbols. Because usually um, with the demos, they try and go for really detailed graphics. In this one, they just went, nope, we're doing big. Huge graphics yeah. for the whole but thing. But really nice animation. Yeah. Mr. Stella. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Like dress. Queen Made out of the, of the Atari. Uh, yeah, that's Queen cool. of the Bee. According to Google, Paris has surged the safety rabbit. I knew it was, uh, I, knew it was I don't Paris. remember seeing that, but it's, it's been a while. Since. You were biking though. In Paris. In, did oh, you go I, to Paris? Yeah. Yeah. Did I take a metro? No, yeah, I did. I was back. In that was a long time ago now, though. And the crap. Movie direction camera. Screen. Something. Play. Testing. Special appearance. Something. <laughs> It's hard to read when there's four lines of text <laughs> going at the same time. That's very cool. Really, really, really cool. Yeah. So this looks like it's all done with Playfield. Um, so they would have had to write uh, a special encoder to move from one Playfield to the next Playfield, one block at a time, which is not terribly difficult. Um, you just multiply by two and divide by two and have carry. Carry over the next block. Had to be overseas since most of the demos are from sea. I like how long it is and not bad Apple 512 game. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Normal shout outs at the end of the demo, the thanks and shout outs. Oh, and we've wrapped around. The movie and direction. go okay so let's get back to the hacks well i want to show something if you yep, flip back to the screen okay so i started playing and stopped and somehow i have gamed the system and my ship is sitting in one spot <laughs> oh. and i haven't died with 20 points with 20 points and um the ship or monster constantly shooting it actually isn't hitting me wow <laughs> That's so, uh, interesting. that is very interesting. I wonder if there's a spot in the game that you can always sit, or if it's just for the first level. I don't know, but here's the thing. This must be part of its programming, because yep. you're trying to shoot it. Usually you end up dying because you run under the beams that it's shooting down, mm -hmm. and it's trying to avoid you. So I guess if you stay in one spot, it stays out of your shooting, your, your where you would normally shoot it. 
But oh, I just find yeah. that uh, kind of funny that you it's, just it's, sit there and nothing happens. Because <laughs> it's only that guy that's shooting you. None yeah. of the other guys shoot you. No. And it moves based on you. So if yeah. you move to the left, it would move to the it left. Would, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So because you're in that specific spot, there's some sort of programming that says don't go left beyond here. Yeah. And go right only to here. Yeah. So if we move to the left, yeah, it's going to bomb you right now. Interesting. So Easter egg, just like Arena Flip. Oh says. no, no. Oh, please. it's in demo mode. Is it? I don't know. No, it's no it's sounds. Not. You moved. You're moving. Oh, oh, it's no sounds for us. <laughs> there is sounds for that. Anyway, Where's the I remote? just thought that was pretty funny. Oh, it's here. Sorry, I moved it. <laughs> He's like turning over the cat. Where's the remote? Is the remote? Oh, now, there? now it's going back to. Yeah. Not killing you. Isn't that funny? Maybe it's yeah. a. I think maybe it's a built-in protection after you die. So that you don't immediately so that die. You don't immediately die. I don't know, but it killed me right after this. The, I, I died, and then it killed me. So without it, moving. Yeah, yeah. So that's not it. I think um, it probably it's it settles into a movement. Maybe. Oh, it's, there you go. It stays in one place. Interesting. Isn't that funny? Yeah. But it's avoiding you. Are you supposed to say, James? I like how you try to figure out how it's done. I'm like that too. <laughs> yeah. I, I every time I see a game, I'm like, oh, how did they do that? How did yeah. they do that? Except for the really advanced games, like they're well beyond. Mm. But for game for demos and games that don't use the ARM processor, I can kind of even then. It's mm. every single thing in the Atari 2600 is made up of basic building blocks. Yeah. So if you can figure out what those building blocks where they're placed on a line, you can figure it out, how the game is made. The rest of it is just how fast they can draw those building blocks. Mm. Yeah. And there's only, there's background, play field, player zero, player one, missile zero, missile one, ball. Seven things. Mm. That's all you have on every single line. And it's about where you place them mm. and where you tell the colors to change. And that's, that's every single Atari 2600 game. So if you can figure that out, you then you know you can figure out how to program yeah. the game. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is a paddle game. Um, and it is called Ketchup Kaboom, which is Kaboom, Kaboom Hack by Scott Dayton again. See, if you just make enough games, you can get an award. <laughs> <laughs> Or up your chances, possibly, yep. of getting one because you have so many chances. <laughs> Still have to make a good game, though. Well, that's true. You can make 20 crappy games, and all one person has to do is make one amazing game. Well, that's true. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Nope. You doing? want these, these end. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but that's okay. You're going to have to lean forward a oh. bit. There yeah. we go. Because these are short. Yeah, they are short. I need to buy extensions. Mm, I'll move out a bit. Yeah, be careful. You might want to... Can you put it on the floor temporarily? Uh, no. No, not... This won't stretch? No. So... See if we can successfully do this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. No good? No. I don't know what it is, but my system doesn't like paddles for select. Mm. I have to do it and then plug in the paddle. We're good now. It seems very maniac mansion. Yes. <laughs> okay. There you go. This one. Okay. So in Kaboom, you have to catch the dropping things, okay. things that are dropping. So this one, I'm guessing oh, it's exactly oh, the oh. same. And it looks like he's dropping burgers, hence ketchup Kaboom. It's going to be um, Fries? fast food themed. Oh, nice. really good graphics in this, actually. Very cute. Scott, uh, ketchup Kaboom, Arena Foot has put some information. Ketchup Kaboom featuring Highbrow from the Wonder Weenies comic by Corey Kramer. Mm. Can Wonder Weenies survive the explosive fast food onslaught? A special fast food version of Kaboom has four different explosive items you must catch. Oh, now some, uh, some a drink. Now 
That's gonna be really fast. Oh, oh it goes ha 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 ha. Very nice. Very, very nice. The graphics are really good. And when you uh, die, it kind of resets the speed back yeah, down. Yeah, I notice. Like by a level. Yeah. Oh, good Ooh. job. Whew. And it gets much harder because you only have two things to catch with. Oh, only two. Yeah. Is he... They are pretty wide, ah. which is good. I can see where the reflection in the picture behind. I know, it's so funny. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, on bright games, you can see the reflection in this uh, in this picture. All right. That was good. Six I mean, Kaboom, Kaboom's a good game. Oh, yes. Well, Great like the, use like of paddles. The, uh, yeah, I like the... Uh, oh, we can't see it. Oh, you can't see it at all. Well, there you go. That, that would help. That yeah. would help. Thank you. Sorry, we switched <laughs> away because we were switching to another system. Mm. Thank you for letting us know. Well, we will play it again. So, here's the fries. We had burgers. Fries are very cute. Yes, great graphics for the fries. And a little F. Uh, not the greatest big, in the world at big Kaboom. gulps. Big gulps coming down. Yeah, but I will give it my best. There's something very zen about this game. Very. You have to it's just like, get into it. It's like you just it. need to just relax, don't stress, just try to catch everything you can. Now there is a strategy to Kaboom. With the score, you get an extra life every thousand, I think it is. Okay. And you want to die just before the thousand so that the speed slows down mm -hmm. at that time and then you get the extra life. Because you can't build up lives in this, I believe. Oh, I see. Of course, strategy's right out the window when you're not good enough to even get to a thousand. Uh... Uh, it's so it's hard. hard. It is so hard. Uh, no fries, cheeps. Mm -hmm. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeps. No Coke, Pepsi. Uh, e even worse, isn't Playfield Zero only four uh, low bytes of the byte? Yes, Playfield Zero is only four bits. Mm. The low bits, the high bits, it only uses four of them. This game came with ketchup, kaboom, cartridge, sticker numbers, limited edition cart. Ha, 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 ha. Want to <laughs> give it another go? Yeah, sure. Very difficult. Let's see if I can unwind these a little bit. Hold that one. That one's yours. This one? Is it mine? Uh, I think I have to. Or do nope. you have to reset? You have to reset. Yep. Let's see if you can get past that. Okay. Least significant bits. Ah. L S B S. What did I get? Eight something? Eight fifty one. Eight fifty one. Yeah, I love the crazy dude at the top. Really, really nicely done graphics in this one. And a lot more interesting than just bombs dropping all the time. Yeah, the original one is just bombs. I like the soft serve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I find it easy when it's not as sparse, things he's dropping. Whoa, good job. Now it gets hard. <laughs> oh, uh, you just have to go with the flow. I'm sorry. Oh, I hate uh, it when you think you've got it and you don't. And the black background, Arena Foot says. Yeah, it does show up a lot better. But I mean, the, the original one had black bombs. So it kind of had to have a black background or non black background. Oh, I see. To yeah, show no, the that black makes bombs. sense. Yeah. Well, also, you want the most contrast. So if yeah. maybe they didn't want a black background. And so what do you put against a non black background, too, right? Yeah. Cute. Cute cat? Fries. <laughs> the no, the cat's being okay. No. I like the hamburgers and the fries. Fries and are big awesome. Big gulps. And Soft serve ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
seen I've seen the real like, professional players play the game, and it is just mind blowing. Madness. Mind blowing how fast they move. Ah, oh, missed it by one. Oh, terrible. Okay. <laughs> not a not an expert uh, at that game. It's a fun game though. It is. Again, it's very zen. You just you just have to. Ground Trooper says he has ketchup kaboom number 25, the last one, I think. Mm. Needs a you're getting fatter between levels. Fast food, mm. aka fast food. This next one is minor 2049er faster. And these are Joe. Back to joystick. Okay. Hold it down. So this one, uh, by Thomas Jens, who did a speed up hack for it. Oh, oh. Uh, and it has some unstable line counts. Um, Omega Matrix, who did the reset bug fix, and Dr. Clue, who did a spite sprite hack. Okay, so Let's see how this goes. I seem to remember. Mmm. <laughs> Seven troubles. Maybe it's Maybe. just in demo. Yeah. There we oh. Oh. Having trouble. Oh, oh, okay, we're playing. Yay! Okay. Woo! Yeah, there's some line count. Oh god. <laughs> Seriously. Please don't jump. There we go. What so you have to, to get you have to change all the, 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 platform? the platforms into solid. Um, you have to avoid the dudes. And there's ladders and slides. I, you can jump. And don't run into those guys. What are they, little chickens? Oh, oh. you can get power-ups. I have not played this game very much. There we go. Now what do I do? Jump Obviously over? go back. Can you jump on that? <laughs> so what is that? I guess that's a one-way ticket over there. <laughs> Line count's unstable. Feels like it's gonna crash in a moment. <laughs> it's all jittery and jumpy. I don't, I don't know what, I, that must send me up to the top or something. It disappeared last time when I was, oh, Is that's just another power-up. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's something I use. Okay, can you turn? I do not know how this works. Maybe you can go up the slide, but I thought that was a one-way thing. Try and go up. Press up. No. Uh, oh, you're okay D going down there. Like, how do you get up to... Oh, did you... Those potato dudes are uh, flashing red and... Maybe they're hot. Maybe they're hot coals. Get them! They're green! Very, very sensitive. It is very sensitive. Annoyingly sensitive. And then you start right back at the beginning. It's not like like all the platform that you've covered doesn't send like... I know. Uh, you know. Anyway. Interesting. Yeah. So, so what is this supposed to represent and what was the original like? Um, this is a hack to change the game, not to... Like, to make it better. Not to alter it in a way that... Um, I think you just have to go to the left and then push. No. No. It's being bizarre, isn't it? Maybe just push down or up. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. I think you just move really slowly. Because there's a speed up hack for this, a reset bug for this, and a sprite hack. So there is some graphics change just to make it look better. 
Maybe we should try the original game after this and see what the changes are. I can't even figure out what to do. There must be something... People are laughing. LOL! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're laughing at us. Maybe not. Oh, they're laughing at us. Probably. Now, don't fall off. <laughs> Maybe go back to that. Oh, it does go back. Okay. And jump over, for sure. Don't fall off. Go up. Maybe I can now climb up. Oh, maybe. Oh, at least you don't die going off that edge. Up, down. No. Jumping on it. <laughs> I don't know. No. I don't see any other way you're going to do it. Stop messaging us! <laughs> Friends is messaging me on my tablet. It keeps beeping over and over and over. And, oh, there's a bug. Okay, there's a platform there. It's invisible. So go back up. Oh, oh what the hell is happening? <laughs> okay, thanks for hanging out, Game Czar. Yeah. Okay, try to go up. No, 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 no. Why do you keep jumping? No, go up the ladder. Try and go up the invisible ladder. Do you have to keep jumping across? Yeah. It's buggy. It's buggy. No, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure there's there's something we're missing. Oh, there's no white game options. That's oh, okay. hold it down. Let's see what the original is like. Let's go you to have the original? games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick up this gray cat and molest Oops. him. There it is, Minor 2049er. Nice. Oh, it looks totally different. Like, 100% unbelievably different. It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> oh, okay. it's buggy. You okay? Huh? Huh? Is he purring? Yeah, it's a little bit. Oh, he is. The guy does move kind of slow. Yeah. Kind of chunky. Very low frame rate of... Of movement. Yeah. Uh, the the enemies look a little bit better in the new one. They look. Yeah, I like that. No, and like flash colors. And yeah. This definitely seems more simplistic, and the in the graphics are much blockier. Yes. But um. How do I get that last weird. one? Okay. Oh, they're yellow now. So they did change the Funny. the platforms on the new one. Well, to make them maybe... something was was had disappeared because this one you could see a way up and down. Do you see what I mean? Like this one makes yeah. sense. I don't know. I think it's maybe it wasn't tested on real hardware. I don't know. The hack? Not sure. I don't know. Something was missing. Definitely there was a platform there that yeah. wasn't appearing and very very strange. Okay, so it was just a little bit, a little mm -hmm. bit of a bug in the in the new one. But the but graphics it looked really good. Looked so, really good. Yeah, the graphics did look really good. Graphics were much upgraded. So let's uh, mm. go to the next demo, which is Mushroom Adventure by Satori. Mushroom Adventure. Yes. That sounds like a uh, Super Mario hack. Maybe. Or uh, not no, hack this, of Super Mario, a demo. but a, a demo. Oh, it's a demo. Gotcha. Yeah. Not a Super Mario hack, but no. Yeah, a Super Mario themed. Satori! Very flashy, full screen. <laughs> oh, there's the mushroom. Nice. Yeah, I can't look at that directly. Too much flashing. <laughs> it's too much flashing. Oh my. Club, club music. Melty psychedelic thing, which I'm sure goes into the theme of the mushroom. Nice pulsing graphics there. And Arena Foot has some notes. Second, it came in second place at River Watch 2018. Nice. Some dancing trees there. Definitely a some good uh, some playfield traffic yeah. streaking down the street. I remember the 
seen from this before. It kind of devolves into madness in terms of music. <laughs> Mushroom Adventure. How is that? As if it's going to be like the intro to the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the grass, the green grass there. trippy very interesting mm -hmm. uh so we're gonna go to uh omega no miss adventure it's an adventure hack by alan w smith was the well featured a little bit in ready player one uh oh. the virginal adventure where you have to get the key and there's dragons oh, yeah, and yeah, there's yeah. castles and it's maze yep pull it down So this is uh, Miss Adventure, which is a oh, play off of Miss Pac-Man. Gotcha. So maybe it's the female uh, version. Female <laughs> version of it could be. We'll see what they've changed here. Oh, Let's here's a little it. dot. I don't know why it started there. What I don't know what went was going on there. Usually it's uh, start in a castle. You're Trees? in the forest, I'm so maybe the forest. they. Uh, Completely redid the mazes, too. That's interesting. Is that a wall? Yeah. That's a wall. So it's one of the first um, graphical RPG games okay. ever made. If not mm. the first. Don't quote me on that. Not done a lot of research. Oh, that's, I believe, the castle. Get away. Run away. <laughs> yeah. That's a dragon. Need a sword to fight him. Oh, ah! another dragon. <laughs> And death to you. In the belly. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, can't get out of the belly. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, you do start in a castle. Okay. What? Run! Where am I supposed to go from there? Uh, Verena Foot says, It's harder and much bigger than the original adventure game. The catacombs in the cave take a while to figure out with over a hundred rooms. There are lots of places to look when searching for the needed object. The dragons have hit points. It takes... What? You released me from the dragon. Oh. Now, can you move? No? This is where I started last time. Two, th one, two. Oh. How come the dragon's immediately on you? Well, I can't get away from him because there's no... Oh, go, go, go. Go up. There you go. I can't go run. up. Run, run, run immediately. Just keep running. Fast as you can. Run. You are faster than him. Barely. <laughs> you should be able to move away with the dragon with its mouth open. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. There we go. Ooh, and it's kind of smart making the character a block because then you can make everything else use the multiple, the other two player characters for other, for two things on the screen at the same time. I hate mazes so much. I always have to map out mazes and games. Mm, I'm just randomly <laughs> going. Uh, no! There you go. Oh, jeez. Ah, he can Run. go through rolls. Yeah. That is entirely unfair. You have to release me over there. Yep. It's super weird. <laughs> I, I've never played this game. Honestly, uh, I've, I've seen people play it. I've never played it. I'm so. not 
the biggest RPG fan, so oh, oh I love God. RPGs, but these these types of games I don't know. Nope. Uh -oh. uh, like, you seem to get away from like, him. How how are you supposed to navigate the maze? Are you supposed to lure him away and then loop around again? Oh, he's gone. Ran, ran away. Mm. Oh, there he is, and I'm dead because that's how it works in this game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool that you can't yeah. really get out of there. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I mean, this is a fairly in-depth game. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot to it, but yeah. um, very um, cool yeah. um, adaption of it, cause making new making new mazes and changing mm -hmm. it uh, around. And that's really, when you make hacks like that, that kind of really advances the game mm -hmm. where you actually change the layout of the game yeah. rather than just changing character sprites because that gives you a whole new game to play rather than you're just playing the same game it just looks different well sometimes sometimes it's cool when it looks different yeah so sometimes it's, it's an improvement too but i know what you're saying when the actual gameplay changes it changes the dimensions of the game and it changes how you play it and, and i go no <laughs> yeah i'll give it one more one more shot. Button doesn't do anything until you find something, something to pick up. See if we can find at Trees. least one thing Trees. without running into a bloody dragon. Oh, no. I have to go around that tree. There we go. So there's a forest. You're in purple zone. Blue, blue zone. zone. And maze zone. There's a key. Let's see if I can get that key. Somehow, oh mazes. Oh, dead. Oh God, I hate, I hate dark, dark levels, and mazes. Oh, there we go. I don't mind underwater levels. Um, <laughs> there's lots of types this, of levels this, I don't this mind. This is James's hate. But maze levels, uh. just terrible, terrible so much <laughs> I'm just oh, okay there's at least a decision point here oh uh, that's where you started is it yeah did I not go down there this no, is dead you've, end you've, right you've done this before yeah so it's totally totally <laughs> to <laughs> you have to be you have to approach it from the other side yeah so <sighs> you're yeah you're just I'm just not I'm getting out of the maze somehow did I mess up? I'm uh, already yeah. messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done this exact <laughs> route before. And Try going up and hence, to the right. Yeah. Hence my hate for mazes. Yeah. And oh. dead end. Yeah. <laughs> Another key. Or is it with the same with key? no path. Oh, maybe it's it is the same, the same key. key. Is this wrapping around? Oh. Oh. Black castle. <sighs> <laughs> Let's go up this way then. Oh. Uh, oh, dead end. It's going to be dead end the other this side. This way? Have I gone this way? This is where is I came it? from. Uh, is it? Did you go, did you go to the far left? Mm, On the upper not. part? Saying up in the chat is not helpful. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wh what end. screen? Yeah, this is... <laughs> By the time you see it... it but, yeah, it's gone. Go straight up. Straight up? Oh. That's the castle. Or not. No, it is. It is. No path. Okay, that's it for this game. <laughs> oh my god, I want oh, control, right, control now. right now. Here, here. Yeah, there you here, go. Here. <laughs> Take it. Do it. Yeah, sorry about that. I mean, we don't have time to play this no, full we game, don't, but it's it's really cool to yeah. have a full. Can you press the button? A fully new adventure game yeah. for people to play. So the next hack. is Moon Patrol Arcade DC version. Moon Patrol Plus hack by Dr. Clue. Oh boy, don't look at that screen. And you jumped way too early. Oh, Up I... is jump. Oh. Fire oh. is fire. Forward and don't jump too early. There you go. So jump over rocks or shoot rocks. Come on. Come on. Figuring it out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the low gravity, so jumps take a while to process and land again. 
It reminds so me of Quest for Tires. Yes, it has a very similar feel, and I'm pretty sure Quest for Tires took a lot of uh, notes off of this game. Uh, Arena Foot says it's way bigger than the original adventure. One day I will have to play the original adventure. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll probably have to map it out, though, because mazes are my nemesis. Oh, you can move back. Yeah, I can move back and forth a little bit, slow up and speed up and slow down. Yeah, this one's all about timing and watching what's happening above and yeah, in front of you. Yeah, no, that's very cool. So it's got a lot of different dimensions going on at the same time, so it's not just a straight ahead. You made it to the first no checkpoint. Bones. Boo! I didn't catch Too it. slow. No, I didn't get one of them. <laughs> I think oh. that was, uh, one of the guys got away. I, or, I mean, oh. Yeah, this reminds me of Quest for Tires a lot. <laughs> Flickery title screen yeah. and de inst instant death. Instant because death. Because I can't see what's going on. Yeah, there you go. And instant death. <laughs> we got difficulty A for the music now. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. I played this a bunch on my Commodore 64. This, the original game. Yep. So what's the difference between this game and the original? The graphics. The graphics are different. It's pretty okay. good port. Yeah, but the... the, the I mean, the original the is an arcade. The, same. the original is an yeah. arcade. It's not a gotcha, C64 gotcha. game. Oh, you played on the C64, yeah. not the Atari. No. So what's the difference between the Atari versions? Like this, this hack versus the Atari. Um, that is a very good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I it, can look it up. This is pretty cool. If, probably graphics. Um, it's not on there. Oh. There's way too many notes to get for <laughs> all the differences well, between all these games. Yeah. And, and that is a difficult jump. Yeah. You, you almost want to run. Shoot it before Shoot you it jump. before you take even the first jump, but I don't know how easy that would be. There you go. You have to jump really, you have to time really it early. Perfectly. Uh, start it over again. Can you read the screen, please? Some people are saying things, or no? Uh, I suppose to, well, a lot of people um, sing awesome music, Arena Foot, and then I suppose to, best game ever of all time is this Mean Patrol and the Vectrix, end of story. Vector oh. Patrol. Vector oh. Patrol. Oh, I don't have Vector Patrol yet. No. Vectrix games are very expensive. You have a few. Um, but the I did get, I did pre, like, start the order, and he gave me the prices for shipping, and they're usually from Europe. The, for Vector oh, Patrol? For Vector Patrol, yeah. And the shipping just kills you, and the exchange rate kills us Canadians. It's so brutal. Yeah. So, I do want it, and it is on my to want to buy list. So, nice. eventually. Bonus. Oh, I did get the bonus, and this is where I die. Of course, I'm going at full speed, so I think what I need to do is slow down. Ah, I have to go way back to slow down. But, yep, there we go. Seems to only have two speeds fast and slow. There might seem to be a lot of... There we go. But you don't jump as far and slow either. See? You jump into it. So, that, so that, that's, that's what makes it difficult, is if you slow down, your jump actually doesn't go as far. Yeah. <sighs> it is all about exactly. timing in this game yeah. for those jumps. I'll make it to the next checkpoint, though. It's pretty good, though. You're doing pretty good. Oh, so the game has a color. lot of variety. Yeah, like, in terms it's really of gameplay. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's neat that you have both the terrain to monitor and also what's happening in the sky and dodging bullets and shooting And they make spaceships. craters, too. Like, they will blast holes in the oh, ground. Oh, will they? Yeah. yeah. It looks like they're just appearing, but they're... They are blasting it. I think I might make it. Yeah. No bonus! No bonus! <laughs> I don't mind. Oh yeah, is that these are mines. Yeah, this is all about timing. This like, is totally quest for tires. This is what I remember it. playing for forever. Oh, it's okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. 
It's fun. I would like to play it. System it's Seller. Fun. It's better than the arcade. Better than the arcade. Mm. It's it's certainly a good, very, 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 very good port of it. Mm -hmm. um, so the next one is Cubert Jump, Amoeba Jump Hack. So we're gonna do. Excellent. We're gonna kick ass at this. Cubert. Okay, ready? Press button. Uh, so uh, Cubert Jump by Scott Dayton. I do not see it on here. Oh. Santa Hero? You know what? You don't have it? We're gonna put, is it in the pack? Maybe this is the one that doesn't exist. Cubert That Jump? you can't because it was only sold on cartridge and not released oh, as a ROM. Oh, I see. Damn it. That's okay. That's we'll okay. We'll move on to the next it on one. At some other point in time. If well, we can. I can, I, if there is a YouTube um, of the, of the game? video of it, I can show it. Cubert. Yep, there we go. So. I don't think I have to put it on the big screen here. Mm -hmm. Move it over here. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, no, I should be able to do it. One second, please. Please hold. Whoa. <laughs> what did you do there? There we go. Just have to resize it. And play. There we go. Cubert is no ROM. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to deal with a video of it watch somebody else play mm -hmm. so if you don't own this you can't test it out so you just have to take a look at it on somebody else's video mm. so they i believe this is actually an early and hack of an early version of, of, of amoeba jump, amoeba jump. so okay. it doesn't have a lot of i don't think it has the letters it doesn't have all the features of the yeah. current amoeba jump so i don't think it has the letters built into it Cute but though. it has all so what is it what is he jumping on they look like slugs slugs <laughs> yes that's exactly bouncy slugs. Bunks, yeah. oh no they have mouths they have mouths they have little they're little bouncy slugs yeah that is super cute slugs with teeth that is super cute oh, oh what is that oh, that is letters oh it's all the the swear the swears sensors. i like that that's super cute yeah so this is a very applicable nice. hack because Cubert does jump. And yeah. This game has jumping yeah, platforms. Yeah, no, it does like... work. Oh. Aww. Of course, the ultimate hack would put in him going when he dies because in the arcade he makes you know the swear word noise, yeah. and it would be like at the bottom coming up, swearing <laughs> as he falls off the screen. That's so cute. But changing those, uh, changing the oh, changing the letters is very, very clever. That's very cute. Yeah. yeah. It was limited cart for only free play Florida. Two copies for sale in the AA marketplace and the AA mm. forum. So if you like that, you can buy it. Mm. Um, I don't know how much it is for sale there. So let's go on to Santa Hero ET. Santa Hero ET. So this is based off of Hero. Okay. Um, okay, so you can shoot your laser. Oh, oh, okay, it's showing. I'm not playing. This is demo. Okay. Oh, you're, he finds ET. You're Santa rescuing ET. Oh, that is so. So weird. it's it's <laughs> down to plant the um, gingerbread man. Apparently, they are bombs. <laughs> Originally, they're dynamite. And you have to rescue ET. Up for your propeller yeah. hover thing. You'll figure it out. And just don't run into anything. And don't fall in the lava. So you have to plant to. one, press down, move away. No, you died. Don't blow yourself up. Yeah, but how quickly does it. And don't run into things. <laughs> No price listed, but the seller wanted a hundred dollars more for number two that I know of. Oh. Yeah, I, you gotta run away. No, but I, I am like. What? I, 
<laughs> I can't go back up? Or how do I go it back up? It takes a while to get your propeller going. Oh. It's not instant. It's not instant. I see. I'm just trying to figure out the movements. <laughs> oh, you were trying to get up away. Yeah. No, you run away from them. Yeah. So you plant it and run. Yeah. Plant it, run to the left. There okay. you go. So practice your thing first. How up. do you jump? Oh, it that just takes, takes forever. It takes a bit to get going. So that's part of it. You can't just run away uh, okay. instantly. One sold previously for three hundred and fifty dollars. That is insane for a hack. That's that's a crazy price, especially for a, a graphical hack. That is a lot of money. So no, I can't get through there. That's too big. You have to fly around and bomb that one. Nope. Bomb that door because you can oh. bomb things that are that thick, but not any thicker than that. This was on my um, to buy list. You don't have to kill them. To buy list for a long time, and I finally got a copy of it about six months ago. So, what's with the ET and the Santa? Weirdness. ET is associated with twenty six hundred because it's the well, worst game ever made. Um, so, oh, yeah, you hit the lights or shot the lights out or touched the lights and broke them. Why can't I go up any higher? Uh, well, you always want to go down. So that's blocked. You can't get through there. So you have to plant a bomb. Oh, really? And you can't get down. Oh. Not on I, yourself. I, no, but I didn't mean to actually plant it. Oh. You can't blow him up. Yeah, you can't, but you said yeah. you have no, to... No, bomb, bomb the wall. Oh, I mean. yeah. no, that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Just wasting bombs. Am I? Because it all leads to the same passage. Ah! Like left and right go down that middle part. Okay, you're there. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly know the mechanics of this game better than I do. Ah. See? It's not so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what is uh, happening? Listen. Listen to the criticism from over here. <laughs> Not as straightforward as it seems. Almost all the Qbert <laughs> jumps were signed by Warren Davis, Qbert creator. Oh, that's cool. That could up the price. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yay. So they changed the colors of the the rocks as well and the uh, yeah. the water at the bottom. So what is it purple? usually? Is it usually a Santa? Ah. <laughs> no, what you're just it? a rocket dude. Like a rocket... Rocket guy. I can't remember his name. It's uh, some crazy manly man. <laughs> kind of like a Arnold Schwarzenegger type, type of, of action guy. character? Gotcha. Yeah. The Rocketeer or something like that. Yeah, in the manual he's like got a cowboy hat and sunglasses. And nice. Crazy. That's nice. But yeah, don't touch those or you'll turn off the lights. And then you won't be nowhere to go. Yeah. Gotcha. Little things that jut out from the wall there. That's so funny. Yeah, see if you went down the right hand side of that. Well you, it would turn you just have lights. to be very oh. see? so I may want to go down this side. Basically blow up every wall because usually you can run out though. You can run out of blowy uppy things. That's true. So you only have two gingerbread! Mm. Oh, it was a hack for Xmas 2018 by Scott, and that's why it's Santa. <laughs> Aha. Yeah, nice. So we did we did a bunch of Santa themed games. They mm. weren't necessarily hacks though. No. But this would have been a we good one. A, we did a couple hacks. This is very much a Santa themed game. Yes. I was it watching is. a um oh, can you blow that up? I think you just can't touch it. But you can also blow them. Oh, you can't touch the red? Yeah, but you can blow them up. But don't go against them. Just don't them. go too close. Yeah. Because they will kill you. Oh. oh! Santa's really skinny when he... Yeah, it goes... It goes... Uh. Yeah. What were you Santa watching? the action hero. Uh, no, no, just something talking about the definition of what a Christmas movie is. Oh, and, yes. Uh, a billion I was... videos about that. Oh, I shot it. <sighs> Uh, but I kind of laugh because uh, people had very narrow views of what Christmas films were. Like like movies that I would consider Christmas films, these people were trying to make arguments against 
you know, yeah. oh, well, just because it was set during uh, Christmas time didn't make it a Christmas film. And oh. I thought that was very odd. It has to, to be me, about Christmas? Well, like, completely? Or, or about, like, they were sort of implying that it had to be something um, with, like, a good message. <sighs> If you know what, what? I mean, yeah, and and not, and like so a, bad Santa a Christmassy uh, message, count? yes. Wow. Well, well not re not exactly, but like they had this narrow view of like these, uh, like Hallmark film kind oh, of films okay. as being Christmas films, and I thought that was very odd. Anyway, I digress. To me, if if there's a Christmas tree in the background, <laughs> it's it, good enough. It, it's good enough, and same with games. If there's a Santa, if there's a gingerbread man, if there's a Christmas tree. Close you know, enough. Close enough. Yeah, exactly. I think so too. Ugh. Sometimes nice. you can't help it. No, it. Like, it does it purposely. Yeah. Kill it? Can you kill it? Uh, I don't think you can. Oh, oh, you can. Yeah, good job. Oh, oh you have to edge your way over. Cool. Level seven. Yeah, very it's, cool. It's a very, very highly rated original game. Yeah. Kind of a neat hack. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like. It was very Christmassy to begin with, and it doesn't. Yeah. But um, the some. graphics are good. The graphics are really good. Yeah, yeah. No, they're pretty cool. Um. So let's see. We're gonna do the another demo next. Stella Artois by Flush. Stella Artois. 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 Not the beer then. No, I think it's a play on words. I think it is for that. <laughs> Stella of three. Yeah. Oh, what? It's not there. I'm hmm? going to have to look at a video of it. Uh -oh. Which is just as good, I guess. It was not in the ROM pack. Maybe they never released a ROM of it. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Since you didn't need that tablet. Uh, oh, there we go. Maybe I have it somewhere else. Just gonna look really quick. Stella? No. No? Um Arena Foot is Stella Trois in not I agree, Arena Foot. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fully. There's a Christmas party in it. There's a Christmas party in the movie. How can it not oh, be a Christmas no, movie? No, and, and, but I mean, Anybody people will argues. argue that a Christmas movie has to be like Christmas, more than just Themes Christmas the in the background, thing. but like about redemption. I, I, I just, I, I was blown away. It was just a silly YouTube thing, but I just found it so odd that, that people sort of associated the, it being a moralistic film. Like it mm. wasn't a Christmas film if it did, wasn't a moralistic film. And I'm like, no, Die Hard's a Christmas film. It's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, yeah, it was, it was, I don't, I don't know. Okay, here it is. You got it? Oh, it's not on your screen. Sorry, peoples. Let's rewind that. There we go. This is one of those demos. Back to the demos where it's detailed graphics. 4K intro. Nice colors in the top and bottom. Great music. Mm -hmm. I think I can turn it I love it when they do that radiation. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice movement. 3D looking, yeah. rotating cup. Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy to do anything that remotely resembles 3D on a 2600. Yeah. I played it from the download folder, Stella Chua. Oh, hmm. Maybe I downloaded an early version. Anyway, we have it here. Yeah, we're good. We got we're it covered. Good. Very nice colors. Very nice, amazing graphics. Yeah, the graphics are pretty cool. Great music. I love that. <laughs> I love super chomp, fast chomp. Move movement yeah. um, on anything Atari, because usually Nothing that big moves fast on an Atari. Mm -hmm. It's always little things moving. Oh, what are you touching? A lot of 3D stuff. It is only 4K, so I don't know how much more there is. 
Oh, it's a TGZ file. Oh, that's why I'm not seeing it mm. in Stella. It's not I have an unzipped. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a zip. Yeah, that's it hasn't why. been unzipped. Yeah. That's okay. We're good. Oh, let's change. Very cool. Oh, that's very cool. I like that. All that yeah. 3D um, yeah. imaging of bottles and objects. Yeah. Oh, is there an end to it? A lot of demos just loop. Continuously, yeah, yeah. There well, we it is on YouTube, so probably oh, yeah. loop continuously. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, next one is a Stargate Desert Raid, mm. a river raid hack by Dev, KK, and Whip. Ah, these pillows, they fall down every time I get up. So uh, you've probably Stargate. played River Raid before. Let's see if we're gonna. There we go. Oh yes, I think so. Where you fly your ship and shoot things. Yeah. 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 So Stargate. Did you ever watch? I remember Stargate. the movie, and I've seen a few episodes of the show, but I was never a huge Stargate fan. So I know nothing about it, but yeah. I'm guessing this is Stargate from Stargate. Some kind of yeah. Oh, you're in a spaceship. Let's go again. There we go. So, in River Raid, there's fuel. So, at some point, you're going to have to get something that resembles fuel. I don't really see it yet. Maybe those things. I wish I knew more about Stargate, the, the, <laughs> the universe, because I have no idea what these things are. Something here is has got to be fuel. Is it maybe those triangles? Took me a while. No, this, you, oh, the you, mountains are fuel. Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, there, there we go. go. Okay. Yeah, mountains being fuel is a bit ah. weird. A bit weird, but oh. maybe it falls into the. See, that's why I don't want the cats walking behind. You see that jumping that's going on? Because they touch the cables. You can speed up and slow down, can't you? That's. Yes. You can move forward and back. Yes. Oh. You don't need fuel yet. It's good to get it when you can. Green mountains are fuel. Sorry, pyramids. Are they pyramids? So instead of bridges, it's kind of a big pyramid there. I, I'm guessing those gu guys are firing at you. Doing very well. Not I remember playing River Raid, and uh, yeah, it took a bit of getting used to. Yeah, it's a challenging game. Yeah. Good shooter. <laughs> I find those guys a little hard to actually oh. hit. And there's the there credits on the bottom. Nice. It looks really good, oh, though. Can you press reset for me? Thank looks you. really good. Yes, very yeah. good uh, detailed graphics. I'm guessing it's on theme. <laughs> Can't really comment yeah, on I know. Stargate. <laughs> no, me neither. You can steer your bullets. Oh, you can. Oh, yeah, they go with you. At least in this mode. There's modes that you can't steer. Get some fuel. I need to stop shooting the fuel. Oh, I see. some debate I was reading about people debating between steering bullets and not steering bullets in oh, games. Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, it's unrealistic. It, it, uh, I would say, yes, excessively unrealistic. But are video games realistic anyway, especially well, back, back in the depends. 80s video games? It depends on what you want from your game. Sometimes you want it to feel more authentic and realistic, and sometimes it's more fun if it isn't. So it just yeah. depends on the game. They were specifically talking about Mega Mania. Which, steering the bullets is part of the game. Yeah. Like, if you didn't steer the bullets, it's a totally different feel to the game. Can you shoot those? Or those just distractions? I think they're just distractions. They might kill you. It's hard to tell what's going on yeah. in this game because it's... The graphics are totally reskinned from, from River Raid. Oh, are you supposed to seize fat hockey players? Yeah, <laughs> yeah got, they kind of do. They've got a puck and they've got a. Do stick they have a puck? <laughs> yeah, they've got a little. It puck looks like they there. they look more like fishermen to me, but yeah, they've got a fishing be. rod. Well, yeah. Those do kill they you. They do kill you. Ah, I took the chance. One guy left. 
Oh, shot the fuel. It's always very funny in games where you can shoot the things that heal you, like in Gauntlet, and it even tells you, like, Blue Elf shot the food. Yeah. And like, Stop shooting the food! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. It's like the ha 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 ha. Yes. <laughs> the kaboom uh, hat. Yeah. Uh, is that it? No? Any, any, uh, uh, so if I'm wrong about the pyramids, I'm seeing hockey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone know what they're supposed to represent? I do not know enough about the Stargate universe to know what, like, uh, there, I haven't, just I haven't seen, seen a single Stargate in this whole <laughs> game, so I don't no. really know. Maybe that's like the end point, you, you hit a Stargate? I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe later in the game. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know enough about uh, that world. Uh, so the next one is uh, Stranger Things Barb's Revenge. A Dig Dug hack. Dig Dug? By Keebs. Interesting. Which is actually very... Um, that's very... Good use uh, of Dig Dug because it's underground. That's true. Oh, there we go. It actually did work. Yeah, I Took guess that's bit. Stranger Things Season 2. Is season yeah. two is when they go underground, right? Yes. 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 Season one's all above ground, and then they just barely go into the ground in the second one. I I'm, I I, I need remember. to. It's been a while. Yeah, I need to revisit it because I'm sure. There we go. Stranger Things, Barb's Revenge. There's the glasses. Keebs, 2018. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You oh, there's play? the monster. Yeah. Yeah, because they go underground. Love Dig Dug. Uh, so much fun. For you. Squish. He's gonna run Good away. Job. He's going to run away. That's quick. Yep. Do they usually run away that that quickly? Last one always runs away. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. Marcin Lapinski has pictures from Stargate to compare the hack on. So you have like a flashlight. I guess Maybe. you're shooting. Yeah, or throwing something at it. I love it when it goes through the earth and it gets that big ugly face on. I love that. <laughs> In Dig Dug 2. There's something about that, um... Oh, he's running away. Uh, bleh, bleh. Face? Yeah. No, he's not running away. No? Only the last one can run away. That face? Yeah. Sort of looks like a Japanese style of, like, mask. A Japanese mask? Like a monster mask? Come on. Yeah, good, good job. Thank you. Oh, can you read that out? Stranger Things Barb's Revenge by Lee Kiebitz Keebler. Lee Keebs Keebler. Everyone else forgot about Barb and now it's time for revenge. Help Barb as she claws her way out of the upside down. Fight starts, demon dogs, and demogorgons. The trusty flashlight and your wits. Waffles, big glasses, bikes, and other power-ups are found along the way. Waffles! You haven't gone Be on the lookout yet. for 11. You need, to drop, good. you need to drop more rocks. You have to drop two rocks to get the bonus stuff. Oh, really? Get him. Get him. Get him. No! Uh, I'll get Ooh, them. Get the bike. Glasses. Oh, glasses. Look Probably like glasses. No, I think that was a bike. Yeah, two rocks for power-ups. Yeah. yeah. So you try and incorporate killing the guys with the rocks. Yeah, but... as best as ah. you can. As best you can. But, but you should always drop two rocks at least, so that... Oh, 11. 11. Ah, oh, that's funny. It's literally 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too tiny to do actual so graphics. Yeah. Just 11. Just 11. That's good enough. I like her. She's great. This is a great adaption. Yeah. It's very smart. Like, oh, it it's all great. Works. Like, yeah. You're, you're... It works perfectly in the Dig Dug. Yeah, I'm liking 
this one. It's right on theme and... Oh, you went the other way. Uh... Right on theme. Oh, yeah. Dan AVC says, nice big Doug hack. I do agree. Oh, I dropped two rocks. Give me a... Get the 11! Woo! Nice. And the flashlight looks good. It's like beams of yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. I should be able to get both these guys. One swoop, maybe. Oh, oh I got him. Yeah. Woo. Extra points. Mm hmm. So do they get points. faster? Do you have yeah. more than them? They, um, they, they go get, after you more. They, oh. Oh. they get faster. There's more of them. Oh. oh. Too many at once. They got barb. Yep. <laughs> They breathe fire more, maybe? It only gets so hard on the 2600, though. Oh, see, they gang up a bit. Oh. I'll do it. Anyway. Right. Oh, I only got, got one. one. Oh. Uh, I didn't get the bonus. What was the bonus? I missed that. I don't know. See, there's two on top of each other there. Um. See, now, now it gets a little challenging. But the um, the thing you need to do is move forward. Oh, we gotcha. You do have to be careful of that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, rock was poised to go. Move forward while you're pressing the button. Yeah. And it blows them up faster. In the arcade and in this. <laughs> you can tell he likes to go. <laughs> I do. Oh. One of your favorites, I think. Oh, yeah, one of my arcade favorites. Yeah. I'm not an expert at it, but I'm not terrible at it. Yeah. Oh, don't let them zap the Yay. You. Huge points for power ups. Yeah. Ooh, pretty colors. I do like I, the I don't color know if schemes. I'd call them power ups. Yeah, very nice pastel. Just, just bonuses. Very 80s pastel. Oh, there's two there. Oh. Oh, more coming! More coming! More coming! Ah! Ah! Get him! Not too early. No, I got him. I'm gonna get that rock. Oh, I already got two things. What is that? I'm gonna go get that. That guy doesn't head me off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was it pickle? Maybe it was a waffle? It said there was waffles. Uh, that didn't really look like a waffle to me. <laughs> no. A waffle should be nice and round. Well, hmm. in theory. <laughs> Difficult to do round things, but. Oh, they're really getting up on you now, don't they? Oh, yeah. One thing is that they start... Oh. They start coming out from their holes faster. Really quickly, yeah. And they all go towards you all at once. Damn it, Gorgons. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to go back on the Wikipedia page to uh, figure out what happened at There's the end of waffle. last... There's a waffle. There's a waffle. What happened at the end of last season? Yeah, before we watched the yeah, new one. Yeah, because I can't remember. You know when that comes out? A new I season? don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. Miss a season? No, no. Didn't it come out in, in... No, no, no. We've watched it. We've oh, watched, okay. We've watched the most recent season. Okay. Photons created in the sun take 10,000... To one to million mi years to get to the surface and eight minutes to reach Earth. Yeah, they bounce around for a long time yeah. in the sun. Is that from the show? Why are they saying that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is a nice scientific hey, light. fact. <laughs> well, photons are coming out of your little uh, light there. But that yeah, is no, true. I don't remember. Waffle was 4,000 points. Very nice. Ah, that is a lot nice. of points, actually. Yeah. Actually, you don't have to move forward to get them really quick in this. Maybe it's only that. Let them out. I'll come for you eventually. These guys, when you get vertically from them, they can't fire at you. So that's oh, tricky. I knew. You did. Oh, extra oh, life. This guy's going to go to the top. Not if I can help it. Oh, this pretty path for him. And Yay! get him. Season three is coming out July 4th. Okay, yeah. so we have a bit of time. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I have yeah, look it. at this. This is crazy now. Massive amounts. Just far away enough. Uh, oh! Should have turned around and just got Just slightly him. too close. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah, this is a game that was really translated really well to the 2600. Like, yeah. everything's here. All the elements are here. Oh. Uh, 
Too oh. fast. I think they do move a little I bit faster. I think they do move faster, yeah. Oh, get darker. Squish. Squish. I'm gonna get those guys. Maybe all three at once. Oh, Whoa. good job. Nice. Go get, go get your slingshot. No, Mew wasn't. Wasn't that a symbol from it? I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy's gone. Running away. Oh, yeah, he's Was like waiting at the top. Is that an 8-pixel quad-sized fire? Yes, yeah. it does look Quite like big. it is quad-sized. Oh, they're already oh, coming God. after you, my goodness. What can I do here? That guy... That's the Can strategy. They shoot up? No. So you uh -huh. want to be vertically from those guys at all times. Yeah. If you can be. I think there's two guys in there. What do you think? Maybe. Nope. Just one. Yeah. Never be horizontal. Oh. Bad timing. And that guy is gone. Just go to the top. I'll get him. I only have one guy left, but so I should die soon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I just love Dig Dug. Uh, and it's a fun little alteration. It is a of really Dig good Dug. alteration. I think they've done a really good job. Good hack on it. Oh, he's gonna. I think I will quit. <laughs> <laughs> Can keep going. But very good. Oh. Tablet. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's next. I think there's a demo next. And dead. And dead. They all Poor killed me all at once. Poor Barb. Poor Barb. Uh, three minus by Altair. So let me get that going. I do have a ROM of this. One second. There, that works nice. Okay, pause, exit, start over. Okay, so this is three minus by Altair. Very nice. Oh, little space invaders. Cute. Scrolling text, very classic. <laughs> uh, love it. Vertical end. Yeah, it's vertical and horizontal. Scrolling up and down, and vertical and, and the slowing, horizontal. and it's got yeah. some acceleration happening. Changes of acceleration. That, very cool. Oh, it's only on for a second, but that was very, very cool. It's like lava flowing down in its 3D perspective. Yeah. Amazing. Easy to do. No, that is definitely not easy to do. Uh oh, that's a big space invader. Made it a play field graphics and a little guy shooting a spear. <laughs> Very nice. I think I'll turn off the sound. Oh, lava's changing. Crazy random. That was in a game. I can't remember which game when you died. I think it was Battle Zone has very similar graphics to that. When yeah. you get hit by another tank, um, it has that, so... Uh, not exactly new, but uh, yeah, that's still nice. very good. Vertical scrolling. Ooh. Ooh. Double diagonal scrolling, wow. Those letters are done by Playfield, but those... Uh... Oh, I know how to do that. <laughs> okay, so it's... They've doubled... They've duplicated the, play, the player graphics twice. So that's player zero and that's player one mm. on either side. 
and they've just duplicated it very cleverly, though. Mm -hmm. Very, very cleverly. A true Space Invader 11 pixels! Yeah. That was a very big Space Invader. Sometimes simple things to implement are still very, very impressive on yeah. the screen. You're like, whoa, how did they do that? How did they get so much graphics all over the screen? Yeah. be in a loop now at the end. Usually that's where it loops is in the greetings when they say hello to everyone. Oh, no, we're not done yet. I guess that's, uh, oh, some of the people who helped out or just friends. Yeah. MGO code. Nope, these are the people who programmed it. Code. Cool. More code. Silly venture. And that's a, a demo mm. place where people show off demos. Cool. Music did loop. This might be where it stops. I'll give it a bit. A lot of fun things in there, especially I like the lava, 3D perspective lava as it scrolled by. Very, very impressive. Yep, I think that is it. Very, very nice demo. Very cool. <laughs> and then we're going on to our last hack, which is UFO Galaxian, mm -hmm. which is a Galaxian hack which is the predecessor to my favorite game, Galaga. Mm. Galaxian was the game before Galaga. Gotcha. Press the button down. Oh, waffle. Sorry. A waffle <laughs> show. There was a waffle? There was a waffle in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Icebo says, I've never seen a demo party, but I think they... After they end, I imagine everybody applauding. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Like they would know that it's over. So I think this is um, probably just a graphical. Oh, you're starting already? Yeah, Yay, button starting. works. Yay. So, Galaxian. Nice. Yep. Did it look like this or did it look like something very different? Did it look no, more like, like Galaga? Um, the ships look like Galaga. Like, okay. have, like the, the designs of the ship are similar to Galaga, but, you know, not, not like Galaga. They were fine and had better graphics for Galaga. Yeah, whenever I've seen a, a video of a demo party and they're showing it live, yeah. it's like tons and tons of clapping after it's over. Yeah. And, um, they must have beautiful screens to show it on. That's all I can say. Oh, uh, probably just projectors. Or projectors. I think it's all projectors. Yeah, but that, yeah. Sounds, that sounds like fun. Yeah. I, I don't know what else goes on at the... I think there's a lot of programming going uh, oh, on yeah, there. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Why did color video games come out around 1979 when color TV goes back to the 50s? Well, not everybody had a color TV in the 50s. That's true. Uh, we had a color... We had a black and white TV still in the 80s. Well, I remember my mom having a little black and white TV, you know, because yeah. they were so cheap. Yeah, a lot of people didn't upgrade until late 70s or late yeah. 70s or 80s um, to color televisions because they were expensive. Like when when the, did people kind of really get color TVs? Like mass market? Yeah, would that was it in the, in the 70s or was it late 70s, yeah. early 80s? Yeah. Like I don't mean when it was first seen, but when people actually sort of massively started migrating to it. Yeah, it was, yeah, late 70s, early 80s, but I'd say early 80s. Because remember, I, I remember playing all these game systems, like the Coleco and Atari and Intellivision, yeah. and a lot of black and white televisions. On, in people's homes. In people's homes, yeah. yeah. Some color, but that was more in the 80s, early 80s when it was in when I was playing them on color, but I, rem I remember a lot of black and white Atari playing in the late 70s. Because, you know, people people don't think of tech as disposable as they do now. Well... And it's not that much cheaper on a scale. No. Like, people pay $1,500 for a phone. Oh, like, no, yeah, People no. would never pay that much for a home phone. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah, but they would for a TV the in equivalent dollars. Do you know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But that's a long term investment, and people would oh, keep them yeah. longer, and that's why they would have big black and white televisions yeah. for a long time. Yeah. 
Well, you would invest in them and you'd want to keep them for a long time. Ah. Nobody has two television sets, no. No. They would only have one. You have a TV. Black and white. It'd be in the living room and that's it. In the living room and that's it, yeah. Um, it wasn't until like the 90s that people started to get multiple TVs. I think the prices well, probably came down. People may have had a second one and that would be a black and white, the old black well, and white one. that's what I mean. One. Like, my, yeah, that's pretty much, my mom yeah. had a tiny little black and white one, I think. And the black and white one would go room. in the spare bedroom or yeah. something. Or in, in your parents' bedroom yes. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I think I'd have to compare this originally to Galaxian. I don't know if the background was black. I'm guessing it's not black in the original um, because they didn't do that. But it's mostly the, it's just the ship. Um, ship alterations yeah. in the graphics, I think, here. The bad guys. <laughs> yeah, the bad guys. And you. You're different. Uh, I suppose it says our first color TV had tubes in the back, but I was born in 67, so I don't know when we got that. I remember being in kindergarten, that was 1972. Mm. Tubes in the back. I, uh... I, mean, we, I, I don't remember a TV. I remember it being a dial TV. Yep, click, click, click. I remember we had a... To get up and change the channel. VCR. My dad uh, got a VCR in the really early days. The ones that where you popped it into the top of the TV. It didn't actually slide in through the front. Top loading. VCRs. And we would record programs off the TV. And you would have a pause button that was attached via a cord. Because we didn't have remotes. And so you would pause the recording to cut out the... Um, ads, UFO Galaxian. To cut oh, out ads. Yeah, so okay. we would sit there... With, with the remote in hand, waiting for the ad to start and trying to time it up so you wouldn't get it, the trace of the ad in the recording that you were doing. Yep. Yeah. Vacuum tubes. Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, definitely didn't, wasn't a vacuum tube. No, that's I, a I do remember for me. watching closely to hit that pause button so you didn't have ads oh, in yeah. recorded programs. I would record music videos yeah. in the 80s yeah. from... Much music, which is Canadian equivalent of MTV. Yeah. Um, and I would cut out all the ads. I still have those tapes. But did you cut them out in progress, or did yep. you cut them out? Yeah, you did the yep. same thing with the pause button. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was Because the you're wasting tape. Exactly. You wouldn't, get, you wouldn't exactly. get as much, you know, TV you, show. You know, you're already recording it on long play with, with really crappy... Uh, yep. Um, LP mode. LP mode. Six hours. <laughs> Playing it back now, it... Definitely, definitely oh, shows. Oh, it's terrible. So bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't care because it no. looked bad any kind of anyway. But the, the idea of watching a show whenever you wanted was just so appealing, right? Yes. I remember being a kid and we had tons of Christmas tapes. That was the big thing. Like when they were Christmas specials and things like that, uh, they, we, my parents would record it for us kids and then they would just throw the VHS tape in at Christmas time. So shut up and be or, quiet or, in this room. <laughs> or the Disney movies or, you know, yeah. that they would show on TV. So it was mainly movies. One shot at a time on this one. Have to wait till it hits something or exits the screen. But your shoot shots go pretty fast. It's not too much of a bother. This one is also very sad. It's not a very hard game. You're it's just shooting. Fairly slow, and there's only yeah. like two that come. One, no, three. no, no. It increases as as your levels go up. More come down. Yeah. But um, it's just not too. It's it not just too feels high like rather rather zen. Yeah. Yeah. RC seven E um, is saying the bestest present on VHS is still a tradition in my family. <laughs> I love I love bestest that you're still present. watching it on VHS. <laughs> That's great. I don't know that one. What? I killed it and then it killed me? No, no, no. It must have dropped a bomb just before it died. Cheap. <laughs> Cheap. This is much easier. Oh, yes. Galaga is really hard, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, very basic, but uh, pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's like one up from Space Invaders. Yes. Because they're coming down at you. Yeah. But the same thing, they're going across the screen at the top. They just break away. Oh, we got two things at once there. One shot. Look like that. So, not super difficult game here. Even if it was in Galaxian, it actually had a black background. 
Oh, and the ridge on the Atari yeah. port? Yeah, okay. One of the rare black background Atari games. <laughs> Somebody must have insisted. It's like, no, come no, on. No, no. It's space. It's a night please. sky. Come on, people. Take a long As we're time getting to die. quieter and quieter. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's very yep. cool. Yep. Nice little hack. Yeah. Nice little oh, graphical good hack. Job, good job. Okay. We will move on. And that is the end of the hack. So we're going to quickly go mm -hmm. through the technical uh, achievement uh, uh, games. Okay. Some of them are games. Um, some of them we've already gone through. So we're just going to quickly point them out. So I think there is a um, folder for technical achievement. There you go. Somebody thumping up the stairs. Let's go to Aardvark. Aardvark! Now the first uh, technical achievement for Aardvark, there's two of them, um, is by Thomas Yentz. It's the alternating play field priority to create a transparency effect. The sun, moon shining through the clouds. walk across the cables. That's why I don't want them walking. So you see the sun in the top left corner there? Now when it goes behind the clouds, it shines through the clouds a little bit. It's easier to see on the, on the moon. Um, but it alternates the priority of the player graphic versus the um, playfield graphic. So going in front and in behind over and over and over again. Uh, the button. It oh, tracks your tongue. okay. And the second technical achievement for this is the Aardvark itself. Um, it is a massive, massive sprite. A 32 pixel sprite that smoothly enters, traverses, and exits the length of the color changing play field. How did you die there? Uh, the, the worm. Oh, you came up. I came back up through the oh, worm. Oh, no. Can't do that. No, you Fair have to point. get it from the bottom. Bite its tail. Yeah, but Bite I came it. back through. I didn't realize that was going to be yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, without using HMOVE blanks, WSYNCs, or using extra sprite data. And it is an incredibly impressive aardvark there. It's beautiful. I'm um, not very good at this game. <laughs> and the animation is really, really good on it, too. Yeah, so let's, he's very good at this game. Let's make it to nighttime. I actually looped this, the demo over and over last episode when we were playing oh, it. Oh, yes, yeah, so you could see it all. For its other nominations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's so just we're waiting make it for it to, to get dark? Yeah, we're just going to wait for it to get nighttime because the moon shows the alternating play field a lot better. Oh, that dude. All four at once. Go down the middle. You're very good at controlling it. I find it a little. You can uh, use diagonals. Yeah. That's what you have to really master with this game. Yeah. See, you can see it there going yeah. through the clouds. It's quite yeah. visible there. Yeah. So. It looks really good. Then the sun sets. Very nice. It's very nice. Beautiful graphics there. And then, then I will die soon. It's the spider. See the moon shining through yeah. the clouds? And it's a really, really nice effect there. Let's get that. Yeah. Get the last bit? Or you want to see the moon? Uh, watch the moon again. Go through the clouds. Yeah, really, really nice. Smart, smart effect. It's very simple concept. Yeah. But so effective to get that transparency. As, it, as it's passing so through. So it's like... Very cool. Okay. There you go. And I can't wait for this game to come out on cartridge. I think he said March. Okay. I think is when this is coming out. Um, but he said don't hold him to that. Um, the next one is actually not a game. It's kind of a demo-ish kind of proof of concept um, hack 
ish it's gray screen with no music um it may not work on this because <laughs> actually it probably won't work on this no you so don't we'll try so? it on this stella no because it's it it's it's a it's a program it's a binary that's made in 16 bytes oh wow and all it does is display a gray screen okay but it's the smallest program one of the smallest programs the smallest program mm. ever made okay for the 2600 okay that does something <laughs> it, it would work on a crt Funny. um so we're going to switch over to stella <laughs> rc7e says it's blue screen with no music <laughs> yeah this one's blue screen with no music yeah that's about right <laughs> but we're going to oh what oh okay this will work on a harmony I just don't have the right one loaded, but we're going to look at it on Stella here. So there it is. <laughs> it's very, very impressive looking, <laughs> but that's not the point. So it says 2K, but it's padded out to 2K. Okay. It only uses 16 bytes. Wow. So, but it displays a screen. And, and that's the that's smallest like, amount of code to display to something. To do something. Wow. Yeah, to do anything. 16K is pretty short, so... It, it is. Pretty short. Especially when most commands use... Uh, no, not 16K. 16 byte. 16 byte, sorry. Most not, commands use two bytes. Yeah. So maybe you have eight commands to yeah. do? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy, crazy. Mm. Uh, PAL or NTSC? It says... Uh, PAL... 360 lines that's not really pal it's not ntsc either but it's identifying it as pal mm. i can see why it's not working on stella let, yeah. me, let me load up the stella version or the harmony version no it wouldn't it wouldn't it work, won't on, work it won't work on my system mm. it would would work on a crt most likely because crts this. just go Bleh, spit anything it yeah, can on the screen true. that's yeah. true um okay I set up this the keys to work no I guess not okay so next one is on here it is we have showed this before hard 2632 by imp and Zvali now I don't remember this working on here but we'll give it a try now this is a similar minimum oh it's a zip it's not going to work. No. Let Moving me do on. it on here. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We'll do it on here again on Stella. This is kind of a minimal demo as well. Mm. It's done in 32 bytes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yawning. Yeah, it's a couple of drinks. That's all it takes for me. Oh, that's not good. Let's do the 2K. There we go. So this is 32 cool. byte. This is more about the hardware. Okay. Because this one is a hardware technical achievement. What the cartridge looks like is it's a ton of dip switches. Okay. It's 32 times eight dip switches. So there's 32 separate banks of eight dip switches and they're all programmable on this p on this cartridge okay. by you yourself okay so you can make up your own demo with however much 32 times 8 is and it's a lot 250 240. 256 probably yeah let's say 256 yeah actually that's probably what it 256. is 256 yeah yeah um so it's kind of a hard more of a hardware thing and the okay. link is in the uh unless arena for wants to put up there the link is in the uh voting area so you can take a look at their hardware mm -hmm. schematics and how they made this piece of hardware that you can program a cartridge by dip switches it's mm -hmm. really really impressive and the next one is mappy uh by thomas Jens and nathan strum thomas Jens did the code and nathan strum did the graphics this is 85 pixel multi-color title screen so if you can load that Happy. one up 
There you go. So beautiful colored screen there. Because mm -hmm. um, changing the colors horizontally like that is quite difficult. Yeah. And I believe that's done with like every trick in the book. Oh, thank you for posting that arena clip. I actually want to show people mm. what this looks like on Stella broken down because it is really, really cool looking. There we go. So there it is on Stella. And in Stella, you can go into um, like kind of a debug mode here. And it shows you all the different parts that they're using to make this up. Okay. Each color is a symbolizes like a player, a missile, a play field. So they're using like all of them and they're all alternating all mm -hmm. over the place. Um, so it equals that. Mm. That translates to that. So it's a lot of mm. complicated work going on in behind to give a stable, beautiful color title screen. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. And second to last one is Mappy again. And this is in the actual game itself. So we go down to the Mappy 0606 NTSC. Mm -hmm. And this is the flicker code mm -hmm. for the characters and the mouse. So you can see it right there on the, on the title screen. All the characters in one line, but the flicker isn't really that bad. So what I'll try and do is get um, try and get all these guys all on one line. So there's three, there's four. Oh, now I'm dead. Mm -hmm. So there's four guys there on that line, and you can only draw two at a time. Mm. Um, but he has done a really nice um, anti. Oh, whoa! I just saw that. anti flicker code which involves um, the timing of the flickering and also um, something that is called, what is it called, Luma, Luma something, where it increases the, increases the intensity of the color so that when it's flickering, you know, you only get half the color, right? Okay, yeah. But what it does is makes it a little bit brighter when it's flickering so that it doesn't appear at, um, as as dark. So you can see those cats when they're flickering and not flickering, they're still still decent looking. So they still look open. pretty bright. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's only one on the line. Yeah. So it makes, it's really, really clever code. Uh, not using the final version ROM? No, not for this, because I have to show off what people have to, have to see for yeah. that. Yeah have to see for for judging I can't use a, a different one and uh, everything is highlighted on my screen cat the, how this, did you highlight it huh this cat how did you do always that? lays on remote controls and tablets <laughs> yeah. and, but usually because the tablets beside you well yeah and he wants to be beside you yeah oh, yeah he just wants love Don't and blame him. the last one yeah is Studio 2600, which is a neat little uh, kind of, it's not really a tracker. Mm. It's not an audio tracker, but what it does, and I'll turn up the vol volume for this because it's mostly an audio thing. You press down the button and you can hear all the sounds of the 2600. If you go left and right, you can change the, while holding down the button. So found a, find a good sound, then go left and right. So these are all the sounds that 2600 makes by default. These are the basic sounds. So once you kind of go through them all, you can say, oh, I know that sound from that game and that sound from that game. Because a lot of them, they just go for shots and stuff. It's like a noise one. A lot of them are duplicated as well. For some reason, they duplicated some of them. That's very cool. 
And you can increase and decrease the volume as well with the other joystick. I think it's the game select. Oh yeah. You can increase the volume with the game reset and game select. And it kind of gives like a view meter at the bottom, but it's kind of a fake view meter. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> play with that all day. Music. Beautiful. Ships taking off. So you can see where they get some of the sounds for the games. Very cool. <laughs> a motorbike taking off or a, mm -hmm. a, a car. So if you get it the right... Changing gears. Mm -hmm. Music notes. <laughs> so you have to use it very, very carefully in your games, not to overdo it. It goes pretty low. Noisemaker! Eight is white noise. Yeah. Noise eight. Yeah. That's I suppose says four and C are pure. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to make music, these you are probably could, the ones you'd want. Kind of play with it, yeah. Nobody used Mor Morse code in any game. I bet there's at least in a something 2600 out there. Game? Yeah, I bet there's something out there. I guess it says one in six is buzzy. different um so lots of fun mm -hmm. yeah so i think that is the end of all of the games that are nominated for the 2018 atari awards mm, very cool so we made it through all of them took four episodes yeah <laughs> a lot of games <laughs> lot nominated of games. so make sure that you go and vote now that you've seen all of them um, in the Atari Age forums. Um, they're under Atari 2600, and then it's Atari 2018 Atari Awards. I think it's in there. Um, and you have about a, uh, two and a half weeks still yeah. to the 18th. And then on the 23rd, we are hosting the big award yeah. show, giving away these wonderful Beautiful trophies. Beautiful trophies. Have you shown them off? I did last episode. Nice. But I can show them again. They're Let's really see. Pretty. Let me hold it right up to the camera <laughs> so it's nice and close. You're so pretty. There you go. Yeah. 2018 yeah. Atari Awards. I've awarded myself <laughs> best zero page homebrew game. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't not get one for myself. Doesn't Atlant Atlantis do SOS? Ooh, maybe it does. Hmm. Mm. Yep. That's a good idea. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I they turned out really, really nicely. I think they did, yeah. Um, probably the best I could imagine for what they would look like yeah. um, so I'm really happy with yeah. them and it'll be a lot of fun um, sending them off to the people after they win them so everybody tune in on the 23rd um, after the polls close and we'll see who the winners are hey. um, so we'll be back next Wednesday with Ooh. new games again <laughs> with brand new games so we'll see what's uh, what games we are going to be playing mm -hmm. but we'll be back to our reg regular schedule mm -hmm. again um delving into um games from 2019 or going new, back in the archives games, upcoming and, games games in yeah, progress all games in progress stuff. games that have been yep. updated that we played before things like that time to catch up a little bit now that we've it's been like a month since we played yep. just the regular games mm -hmm. um so thanks for hanging out with us yes um I want to play with this music stuff a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, That's one very fun. And we're going to say goodbye to everybody in the chat. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. I do have yours handy, Arena Foot, and it'll be sent <laughs> off very soon. So goodbye to Arena Foot, and RC, Ice Posta, Spindly1970, Dan mm -hmm. AVC, uh, who else been chatting here? 
Ground Trooper? Ground Trooper's been chatting. Yeah, a tasty a sandwich. sandwich. Oh, Yay. I missed your uh, I missed your uh, little oh. chat there. Thanks. For, oh, Grabs. Grabs as well. I didn't even see her Die Hard comment. And neither did Argy I. Star, isn't a Christmas movie is wrong. Yes. I agree. They're having a Christmas party yes. in it. Yes. It's yeah. craziness. Um, I think that's most of the people that chatted yeah, in the you last little people bit. right at the beginning. The games are. The games are, yes. Just scrolling back here. Yeah. Oh, and that's where it ends. So thanks for everybody else who uh, were hanging Spindly out that, that didn't talk. Yeah. yeah Spindly 1970. Yeah. And we'll see you next Wednesday at 11 a.m. I don't know what games we're going to be playing because I've been very busy. Um, so I'll be <laughs> getting those ready throughout the week, uh, over the weekend. So thanks for tuning in. Yes, thank you, Arena Foot. We did get through them. <laughs> it was a good show because we got it done. We crammed a lot <laughs> of games into one show. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of games. Yeah. More times, 8.45. So we ran a little long, but yeah. normally we run long. Yeah. So yeah. normal long true. time. Yeah. Um, so thanks a lot. And we will see you on Wednesday with um, Erlen. Yeah. So bye-bye, everyone.